I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's the I intro. We're, we're live. I sure hope so, Jack. Hello and welcome to Off Topic Live from our perspective houses. I'm your host, Michael Jones. We got Jack Patillo, Ryan Haywood, Jeremy Dooley. Hey, Shout out Wood. to uh, Honey for sponsoring this episode. And here we are. And Jack, you're pointing at not the right places at all. Well, on my Listen, screen, no, that's, that's, pointing's that's, very hard. That way, to, that's Ryan. There's Michael. That's Ryan. Yeah, Michael, what happened? That way. We we're gonna do the jacket. Jack, I ran to the bathroom and then I ran back <laughs> and I <laughs> forgot. Hang on, let me give me a second. Vamp, vamp, real quick. Hang on. Oh, don't okay, cut to me. Really I'm about to leave. You just cut to me. Feed. Okay, yeah. Hang on. We look really good right now. I'm looking. I'm looking at the RTTV stream. We look pretty solid. Yeah, oh, solid. We got good frames and stuff. Yeah, we have most of the frames are there, which is nice. Most of the frames there. There's the inside of Michael's house as he I runs got, to get his. Uh, it, there it is. It. There it is. Oh, there we I go. Got okay. it. Don't you dare cut away. You leave a blank screen when I leave. Don't you dare cut away. <laughs> okay. Looking good. Yours, We're looking like baby Yoda. Jack, yours, yours looks like yours fits you almost, and mine doesn't. What, is, mine what looks, does that mean? <laughs> it means you're just you're a you're a <laughs> massive bulky guy. guy. That's true. He's hench. Jack's hench. You do look so a little bit like a linebacker. Play. Uh, the the perks of uh, of working from home are that we can take advantage of stuff that we can't take advantage of when we're sitting at the table. So I can do stuff do like, it. hey, Michael, you and I, we look like this. In, immediate. Right He's immediate <laughs> with it. Jack was getting giddy with this before. And if you're listening to the audio podcast, none of this makes sense to you. No. Uh, what so is it? Due to the, due to the <laughs> shelter in place right now in Austin, we are all working from home and will be uh, for almost the next three weeks. Uh, what so Jack we're has all done screening. is he is stolen he's, the he's, power that was yeah, formerly he's, only he's, belonged yeah. to the broadcast people he's broadcasting for yeah. himself but visually uh you will Absolutely. have no idea what he's doing if you're listening to the audio uh and <laughs> okay so now what's happened is broadcast has just oh well, there you go there we go uh, and it might it might happen um but other than that hopefully Whoa. it doesn't sound too different oh my god <laughs> this, is too much. this is too much going on right now there's a lot going on um, Jeremy's just sitting in disbelief watching this mess happen. <laughs> I was just watching it. Yeah, I, uh, I, yeah, broadcast did a good job figuring it all out, though. They did a real good job. I'm looking at the. I don't know if anybody's looking at the live feed. It looks real good. Way better than what it looks like for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're they're sending us a feed like a, to monitor at home, and it's uh, it's lower quality, so we use up less bandwidth because mm -hmm. we're all our own, our own bandwidth. And apparently, they're everyone's smart. using the internet right now. They're smart, man. Those mm -hmm. broadcast people, they're smart. They know what they're doing. So, yeah, like, you know, we're looking at the camera when we're trying to talk to each other. But if you see me, we said enough here, nice things about them. Can the we chat. move on now? I don't know. Ryan, what else do you have to talk about? Uh, the fact that I can't put my jacket on because it's hot as hell in this room. You can put it on. Crank well, no, it I'll die. die. Don't do it, Ryan. Don't die. You'll just sweat. I, this is how this. So, you know, when you close the door, because I have children here that I have to isolate from our, you know, content. Who's right. for the for their development <laughs> as well as my yep. future well being, mm -hmm. uh, but there's no air circulation in the house now. So I've actually I ordered on Amazon. So we'll see when it gets here. I actually ordered a window unit to go back there. A window Wait, AC. Why, do you, why don't you have air circulation? Because the door's closed. So you don't have a. No, duct I'm, Ryan, I'm in the room? same boat. Get a fan. Well, there's a duct. Yeah, you but it's a bad room, man. Like this room. When I close the door, I've got two computers in here humming. Uh, no. they just heat the space, man. Oh, yeah, I got a vent there, but it really don't work well. So this room heats. I'm up comfy. Quick. I'm I'm a little chilly right now. I'm a little cold. Well, look at you. Uh -oh. Your whole house is open behind you. My whole house is open. I don't have a door. I've I, I, my setup is in the middle of of what I like to call my loft, which is just like a mm -hmm. second living room I have upstairs. This is where my gaming setup is. It's where the baby jail is, and uh, it's open. So I got them kids corralled downstairs. You stay out, and they just hear the screams echoing from upstairs to downstairs. So is that the baby jail work? Behind you or is that the kids? Baby jail, yeah, until they can climb, yeah. It's enough, I got, I got still baby jail work. Oh, yeah. I, I've got maybe a month left with it for mm -hmm. uh, Luna, mm -hmm. who's 13 months now. She's approaching the time where she'll just climb over it, which well, on one hand sucks because I can't contain her. But on the other hand... Accept it. You can't contain her. I can get rid of the fucking baby jail and have my living room space again because it's a it's a pain in the ass. I hate it. Lock it just takes please. up so much space. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have puppy jail set up right now, which oh, yeah. that's taking up a lot of space. <laughs> I think Cat just grabbed our second puppy jail. Jails are cumbersome. 
that she can you put two puppy uh, jails? probably outside. Yeah, we do. So What's we have Jeremy? one set up in our bedroom. And <laughs> I think she's setting one up outside um, right now. But we're going to set another one up in our family room eventually. So the dog can sit there and watch cat work. And not scream. So you're going to put some weights outside for the dog to like go to the yard and do some lifting, play some basketball. Uh-huh. Make some license plates. And yeah. Cl- clang in the uh, thing across the bars. Is that a thing? Making license plates in prison? That, or, oh, yeah. yeah I mean, still I'm do sure that. It they still do it? Yeah, they don't yeah. stamp them anymore. They used to be stamped, and they oh, were man. nice and like embossed, but now they're like chisel them by hand. I want to yeah. know what crime was committed by the person who made my license plate. Oh, what's wrong with yours? Put on there. What's that? No, I just want to know. Mean? I just want if it was made in a prison. Oh, okay. I want it to be like I want like a murderer press this. Be like nice. I don't think they let them do the license plates. That's for the good. They might. The good bad you people. <laughs> good, bad. The less Brian, bad. It's a, bad it's a people. corrupt system. You know, okay. You don't know who's doing what. I guess they've been in there long enough. Maybe they got some privileges. Like, hey, I only um, shanked one person this week. Come on, let me do the license plates. I checked my nest. It's a cool seventy-two in here for me. Nice. Uh, trying to get I don't know what my it is skin. Me. It's a warm yeah. seventy-eight in here. Whoa, your skin's bit. 78 degrees? You're dying, dude. You're grifting a little bit. <laughs> 78? You're no, 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 no. I got too cold. We're good. We're good. I've got anti coronavirus. I'm I'm actually That's true. I've got a reverse fever. I'm super protected. God. It's called f- freezing. We should no, roca all virus. Those threads, all those forwards where it's like if you can hold your breath for 10 seconds, you don't have it. That's all bullshit. Like, don't believe oh, any absolute. of that. Oh. Yeah. Unless you take just, the the actual test, you don't Jack, know. No, Geraldo he said it. Thing? It's got to be true. God. Is yeah, Geraldo's the, the one that actually, said, uh, "Hold your breath." Hmm? What's that, Jeremy? That anosmia thing is that is that true? <laughs> that that's one of the first uh, that I've heard sim- is true. symptoms where you can't mm-hmm. smell or taste. Kind of I've heard it's true. Thing. Whether that means anything, Who right, exactly. Rooster Teeth is going to get it. Who's going to be the first person Rooster Teeth to get it? Hopefully no John, one. John, because he'll never know. Hopefully no That's one. True. Well, <laughs> that would be harder for John. If there's a lot of other yeah, systems. No one, let's let's, let's make assumptions. Other systems. Do it. I, and actually, now that I think about it, today's the first day. I had a fucking headache for about four days in a row. And today's the first Damn. day that I didn't have it. It was, I hate it. It was a nightmare, man. It just would, it was like in my brain, you know, it was like way, it was like way back in there. And, uh, Your deep brain. Every, every day I just, uh, check my temperature. Because you just got one of those little forehead thermometers. I had it for the kids, That's which is great cool, too. Though, it's super cool and it's great too. Not that like I'm really concerned. It's more just like, uh oh, if I hit 99, I should do something because I do take medication that uh, is I'm prone. I'm prone to respiratory infections, which is not not the place that we get. Not now. great. Um, not great. So I'm just like, whatever. It takes two seconds, but then Iris sees me do it, and then she goes, "Me next, me next." So I get to check her <laughs> temperature at the same time, and she asks for it so i'm like you fool yeah i was telling i was gonna i, was gonna I think i was telling you uh michael that when i went like kind of recently last week i guess midweek i actually just went and got like a physical type thing just like <laughs> he was like physical uh, i guess they're called <laughs> I, I got 12 were they Even concerned that, about like, your liver uh no actually they weren't concerned about anything she literally said to me she's like when was the last time you saw a doctor? I was like, I think it's been six years. And she was like, well, you're doing something right. <laughs> I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> it's I like all the, everything was good. But yeah, before I, they let Kat or I into the office, it was like a place that took walk-ins and whatnot. But before they let us in, like they asked us all the questions about where we've been, if we've had any symptoms. And then they came out with one of those thermometer things and tested both our temperatures. And they were like, okay, you can come in. Otherwise, they were like, "Stay out, get away from us." Now, what, what would they do? And like, the you, they would you out, like, you've got, you've got the disease. Go, oh, go, away. go away from the hospital. <laughs> well, no, it was because it wasn't really a hospital. It was like an urgent care attached to a uh, gas station. You know. Well, no, I think they but would like, say this ain't the place for you. Please don't get everyone else here sick. There was a lot of signs up, like if you have this symptom or if you've been to this place. Don't come in here. Call this number, and they'll and then go to a Cracker Barrel. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Hell yeah, dude. Oh Crack no! Up. Even the awesome. like Waffle House just closed 365 locations across the oh, nation. No, That's dangerous. Did you so see there that? Is uh, some good from the disease. Did you see that? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a Cheesecake Factory said they're not going to pay rent anymore. Yeah, I did see that. That's pretty wild. I, I mean, like, yeah, we're not going to pay rent. Uh, I wish I wish I could do that. 
You're like, I'm Solid. not paying my mortgage next month. Hell yeah. Do oh, you're, you Do too? It. See what happens. I have, check, I haven't paid my mortgage in years. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't answer. Sorry, the phone. coronavirus, I burn, man. All, I burn all my mail. I mean, what are they going to do about it? Do what you got to do. Get me? They, they can't find you. They door. don't know your address. They don't know me. I did not get the door. I don't open. And then they say foiled <laughs> and they leave. <laughs> you got any beer going on, Michael, right now? I got some beer. Yeah, I got some Woo! beer. Put it in a nice little uh, little glass, little uh, little Patty's Pub glass. Makes me makes me think of the set. Oh, oh. it does. I thought uh, about well, maybe the green set. I got green. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's ooh, that's dangerous. I'll tell you this like, though: these computer chair way more comfortable than a stool. Yeah, three of us have green screens. I thought it would have been funny if we just green screened ourselves onto the set. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Honey. You know that Honey is the free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them right to your cart. And you know how great it feels to save, but how does it feel to save with Honey? Saving with Honey feels like sliding into a seat on the train just before the doors close, hitting every green light on your morning commute, finishing up your podcast episode right as you walk into work, or getting that perfect moonball hit. Matt Ball, Lindsay, my wife, maybe you know her. She uses Honey all the time. Uh, it's just, you add it on the browser, does everything for you. She's buying cosplay stuff. She's buying baking goods. She's buying clothes. Whatever you want, if there's a deal to be got, Honey is there to get it for you. Honey supports over 30,000 online stores like Best Buy and Target, and they're adding new stores every day. Honey has over 18 million users that have saved more than $2 billion. That's $2 billion saved for free and that's why it has over 100,000 five-star reviews on the Google Chrome store. Using Honey feels pretty great. Think of it as a little daily victory. Plus, it's free to use and it stalls in just a few seconds, just a few minor seconds. Get Honey for free and join Honey at joinhoney.com slash off topic. That's joinhoney.com slash off topic. Honey, save some money. It's Maybe that's actually not time. in my computer chair it, either. It's Ryan said it at one o'clock. That's just a picture of the set. Um, Over Jack's face. <laughs> well, I assume Jack did that. I did he that. Just, he had it ready. Jack, I, Jack, I can't tell what's them and what's you. I can't tell. Okay. I don't know. The, Here's the fire. The uh, thing is that, that picture right there is actually that's a digital image. Someone made that. That's that's yeah, 3D there, rendered. Um, that's awesome. What yeah, that's uh, Ryan cool. was like, hey, we could uh we could do that. You know, maybe we could use all our green screens and then be on off topic. And I go, can we, I mean, good idea next week. Let's yeah. not hit them with that at one o'clock before the first ah, that would be podcast easy. at two 30. <laughs> so maybe next then, week. Here's, here's what, here's what we need to do though. Then, then we need to also configure the window. So like, like our cameras are like profile to get the, I gotta be sitting at the end. You know, I can't just, we can't all be right. in yeah, front yeah. of the set. That'd be weird. We have to all it's turn the right direction. And... Turn our furniture in the house and Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I'm not even I'm I Listen, didn't even I'm still right here, just there. straight forward, middle of the table, or I'm slightly you, to yeah, the this side is, next to Michael. This is weird yeah. for me. I saw a comment earlier. I'm I'm checking the I'm intermittently checking the uh RT chat, which I noticed is you'll see like flashes of light on my face because I'm switching back mm. and forth between browsers. Um, oh nice. And somebody just said, Jeremy looks angry. And without even looking at you, I just went like, no, that's probably just his normal face. I used to get that. I have, I that look was angry a lot. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. You got I a also, stranger, face. Strangers don't do. talk to you that way. I also like, you know, look kind of like a mess right now because pretty much since I started quarantine, which for me was been like two weeks. Um, cause I had that other week that I was working at home, just editing. I just haven't shaved at all. Like, like under here or my head. And I just like look more and more like a mess. It's great. I love it. That last day we came into work. I saw you walking towards me and you hadn't had a, your head was not freshly shaved for the first time in quite a while. And I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> what is this hair? Whoa. Whoa. What, who am Whoa. I looking at? Whoa. Like when, when I see your what? face, it's you. And then, but I'm like, whose head is that on the side of your head? It's hard to tell there's hair there when you look at this part, but when you look at the sides, you're like, "Whoa, there it is." Jeremy, you you had you had a real shit show going on for you, more so than everybody else because Cat was out of town mm -hmm. before everything exploded. It's when it, the it started like trickling through and and Seattle got got and then like uh like 
San Francisco was like talking about being like, it was oh, like there might be an outbreak there. while she was, it was there. It was when we were, you know, discussing and then, and then canceled, um, the age live tour, you know, like mm -hmm. a week, like a week and a half before it was supposed to happen, which was now, you know, weeks ago, seems like a year ago now with how crazy shit is. And, yeah. um, you know, you were just like, shit, like cat, like cats coming back from there. And she was at a work conference. So like either I can't come to work or I can't be around her. And she was already gone for a week. So you hadn't seen her for a week. So you chose to stay in a hotel for a week just so we could film week. shit that week. And yeah. because on Saturday was the stream, the 12 hour stream we did because we, you know, had to cancel AH live or postpone AH live. So we were like, Hey, we're gonna do a 12 hour stream this weekend. And you wanted to be in that. So you were like, fuck, yeah. I have to stay in a hotel for mm -hmm. a whole week. So you stayed in a hotel for a whole week. You did the stream and then you went home. So to to reach the window of two weeks for Cat to make sure she wasn't sick, you were like, then I'm gonna just stay at home the next week. I'm gonna take the week off. You'll work from home. You edited some videos from home. You did one like a chicky do and something. You did, a, trivia. you did a GTA from home mm -hmm. that you you know played with us in the office. And then you came back on Monday and you're like, I'm back, baby. And then Tuesday, we were like, okay, we all have to go home for three Today's weeks. the last day. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. I was like, damn it. Oh, like, it no. Felt, I was back and I was like, oh, so yeah, bad. all right, this is cool. Like, back in no. the room, just filming a bunch of stuff. Man, I did just get a cut, though, a little oh. bit ago uh, from Jaron of the Ready, Set, Show we tried to film on Tuesday. Oh, that was something, man. Oh, it yeah. Was How did like that go? the end of the day. Everyone it was, was a nightmare. trying to go. It was a nightmare. Like we wanted to go because not only, yeah, it was the end of the day, but it was we like all set to up and test. everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, I mean, we found out late Monday night through the city of Austin. Odds are Tuesday night is going to be mm. the shelter in place. So Tuesday is our last day. Of the warning. Off. Yeah. So we need to film all our shit and whatever we need to record at home. We got to take it home. So Tuesday was kind of a scramble. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he, and so like, we we're like trying to get out of there and Trevor Trevor's going, we're going to do ready, shit, ready, set show. We're going to do it. And like Sarah, you know, we had this idea and we got the stuff in like not blaming Sarah entirely on this because there was a yeah, lot entirely. of parts, Some, but, a little bit, <laughs> but a little bit, <laughs> but um, there were certain things. There was a lot of like moving parts to it and a lot of things that needed to work. And it was just kind of an oversight. Uh, so we kept having to adjust on the fly. And Michael really pointed out that all it took was missing some of the crew to go from we were on a big table on a nice set to we were literally on the floor in our <laughs> office, <laughs> like piecing stuff together on the floor, bringing in yeah, Matt and Lindsay. It, it was uh, it was like four forty five. We had finished filming for the day, and I'm disassembling like in the awu that'll come out next, you know, Monday or Sunday, whatever. Um, you can see like a computer sitting in the background. I was disassembling my desk to take my capture PC home to get a second PC. So we finished Awu and then I'm carrying computer parts out to my car and Trevor goes, Hey, uh, we're gonna do ready, set, show. We're gonna do this, this, this. Can you be in it? And I just went, I just stared at him like, N now? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I just go, yeah, sure. Okay. Like you need it. Sure. Whatever. <clears throat> we're not going to be back for three weeks. So let me right. just finish loading the stuff in my car. So I load the stuff in the car. I come back into the office and you guys had already started filming. And it's you and Trevor sitting on the floor in the Achievement Hunter office opening shit. And I'm just, and and you're like, oh, there he is. Da, da, da. And I walked on over and I just went, is this the show? Don't you guys have like a set and like a table and all? And Jeremy goes, mm, yeah, usually. <laughs> and we also usually have Sarah and Tyler and these other people. And I go, wow. Yeah. And I just kept saying through that mess, I just kept saying, we're just sitting on the floor. We're on the That's floor how close right society now. is to breaking what? down. You have one yeah. less Sarah. I mean, the there's a lot breaks. of, there's a lot of like, you know, kind of uh, slap together crap in Achievement Hunter. I feel it's where mm -hmm. we do our best, our best work, you know, between the games and stuff. But there are other things that are shows, you know, off topic, shy of today. We have a nice set. We have a table. Even today, like, look at, look at the nice job broadcast did with what they could work with. Um, ready, set, show. Like, I know the look of it. It was just Jeremy and Trevor sitting on the floor with a camera pointed it's at the floor. And I was like, look, Whoa, man, this is crazy. I, I mean, I watched some of it because I got it literally <laughs> when we were setting up for off topic. And I, so I watched, like, I skimmed through a bunch of parts. It looks exactly like a between the games. That's yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. And then, you and know? then to further that, I mean, you know, I'll be honest, I haven't watched every single episode of Ready, set, show. Um, Good. 
the content of what transpires is also very between the games and uh, kind of what I'd call a clusterfuck. Yeah. It doesn't go yeah. well. It ain't just that we're sitting on the floor. Nothing works. Not a single thing works. It's like, we're going to do this. No, we're not. How about this? <laughs> no, we're not. It just, it just kept rolling, man. Jeremy, every couple of minutes would, get, would look at me and go, I think you should just get out of here. You should probably go home. <laughs> I felt bad wow. keeping Michael around for it. Just trying to bail him out. Bad. Just go. Yeah. Lindsay, just well, go. We took one car too. So Lindsay was there just sitting in the background. <laughs> and he was like, please just leave. <laughs> Trevor would leave. The Trevor was out of the room for half the video because he was scavenging for parts. Right. He kept trying to find the things we were missing. For and then he, work. Would, he would text us in the middle of, of in the middle of us sitting there and go, I got a hot lead. I'm going to go check somewhere else. <laughs> and there's no one yeah. at Rooster Teeth either. So it's like these empty buildings and I was mm -hmm. just empty. Them trying to find stuff. Because most people, they've been working from home for like almost two weeks, I think. Mm hmm. We were we were and kind of the there's last a lot. Card. You know, there's a there's a bunch of people not there, so there's a lot that I'm willing to forgive. But <laughs> what is the problem is I don't know where the rack is for the punching bag. Mm. We ordered yeah. a rack that we can hang the punching bag through. It we. says it was delivered and si yeah. I did. And it said, <laughs> it said it was delivered and signed for. And no one seems to know where it is. <laughs> Someone yeah, somewhere that... is hung something from it. We're going to find it when the apocalypse hit. There's like a body hanging from it. Body, yeah. I don't know <laughs> that, that we, Rooster Teeth, even got it. Because I don't right. know when when the other people in our complex started going home. For all we know, someone right, signed, signed for, for it by on, their, on their last complex. day. And then bye-bye. Because -bye. usually the package system is pretty, pretty good. Um, pretty good it's pretty it's, it's pretty orderly like you got a thing come get the thing here's the thing it jeremy just goes got delivered eight days ago <laughs> and we're like well i don't know yeah you gotta wonder are I we mean, at the point though where amazon you know they're, they're kind of at the front line at this point because some people are yeah. literally using oh, amazon God. for food and if they're looking at that packaging going not a good place this asshole just wants a, a rack for a punching bag back of the queue like it'll get there <laughs> you know, in i mean March, i mean April, the thing sometime I agree with you, but the fact that it was delivered and signed for kind of goes against that theory. Right. Yeah, for like sure. It, it yeah. has been <laughs> delivered, for up, sure. You know? If they had said, hey, we delayed it, I think that's quite fair. You know, no one's complaining mm -hmm. there. Oh, no. Um, I it been, like, is good. weird what you can get on Amazon and what is delayed. Like Amazon Prime Now, which is very confusing. It's a very confusing name because there's Amazon mm -hmm. and there's Amazon Prime, which is a service on Amazon. It's the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. and, but then there's Amazon Prime Now, which is a different service, which is mostly their yeah. food. Is Amazon Prime Now? So whenever you say Amazon Prime Now, people are always confused. They just don't know what the hell you're saying. Um, Amazon Prime Now, which delivers, you know, food and groceries and such, is still going, and that's usually where I get most of my food. Um, and it's great for kids. I I'm so lucky to have kids in this day and age of like milk milk it'll be here in three hours you know or baby formula or whatever i try to plan it ahead as much as possible but you know there's always something you miss there's ten thousand things you gotta have um they're still working but for the last week maybe eight days i'll just randomly check and it goes all all drivers filled today and tomorrow try again later and i'm just like i can't i don't know who's getting the food like the food is there they have the food they just don't have the people to deliver the food and I yeah. own, like, unless a pure stroke of luck, like getting struck by lightning, I imagine the only way you're getting food is to just sit there and just like refresh, 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 refresh. And as soon as a driver opens up, somebody grabs them. Um, so I've been going to, to Walmart and just buying groceries, which has been an experience. Is it still not like, not bad? The other... Sorry. Guys, <laughs> I don't, it's, it's hard to judge when, so, when to talk. Uh, is it, mm -hmm. Has anyone tried any of the other delivery services in this? Because uh, I've never used like Uber Eats or any of those things. But are those still operating? I, I've used mm -hmm. them. Um, I used one the other day. And yeah, they're still going. I, I mean, again, shy of running into not enough drivers, I think they're thriving right now. Because food yeah. food places are still open. Like fat, even mm -hmm. fast food, if there's a drive through they're still open. They're allowed to be open because it's like a central business. They just close the, um, the inside. So... I think more than ever now, people are doing like DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubhub. There's like a million of them. Um, and I haven't ordered something, but I did a couple days ago. Even I ordered after Amazon Prime Now was broken. 
and it was still working. So they must just have like an F ton of people just going out there picking up foods. I imagine it's insane to work at a fast food place right now. Oh, yeah. Well, I say that. I've been to, I think, where did I go yesterday? Or two days ago, I went to Taco Bell. And it, the Taco Bell was is next to a, a McDonald's, and neither one of them had more than a car in the line. We got to so. figure they're also just focused solely on drive through right now. So it might be a situation where, like, you know, they don't have to worry about, you know, mm -hmm. dealing with the customers in the store. So it might be a little bit quicker. Yeah, good, I mean, I used point, Uber Jack. Eats. Good point, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I used Uber Eats last night. No. Um, just, like, ordered a burger. If anything, it's actually faster now because, like, around dinner time, usually it would take longer and longer because they have to get through traffic. But now there's no such thing as traffic. Um, so they just like cruise on over pretty quickly. Usually you just say, leave it out front. I don't want to see you pretty much when I, um, so I haven't been to Walmart until, or the last time I was there was, I think, I think it went on Tuesday. So it was like the day of the shelter in place was Tuesday night. And I think I had gone, that was maybe the third or fourth time I'd gone because <clears throat> I kept trying to get specific things and they didn't have them. So it was weird because like the the store was ravaged uh, as far as, you know, like I'd never seen a grocery store in my life. Um, like the the first or second time I went, the the pasta and like canned goods aisle, literally nothing, not a single thing on the shelf. Um, I didn't even look at like toilet paper or cleaning supplies because I don't need any, but I imagine just destroyed. But the atmosphere of the store was perfectly normal. There wasn't like an abundance of people in it. People were just going about their day, just like shopping. I didn't really have any of the crazy people with 500 things in their cart. So it was just like, I just missed all the people that bought all the stuff. Or it was just an, an overabundance of normal people making normal purchases. So the shelves looked like they were insane. Like a, a you know, like a friggin' tornado rolled through. But it wasn't any more crowded than it normally was. And I just kept going back trying to find specific stuff. Like Iris and Luna now both eat the the mac and cheese cups, like the instant cups you just throw in the microwave for two minutes. So I went of many other reasons, but specifically that, like four days in a row, hoping I would be there in a day that they got it. Um and I told Jeremy, I think it was on it was either Monday or Tuesday, whenever I went, and I came into work and I went, Jeremy, I fucking got it. I yeah, what'd you call it? Cheese. I said, I, I told you this and I did it in the store when I went down the aisle and I got to the part and they must have just restocked it because there were, they, you, they come in like four packs. There was maybe uh -huh. 20 or 25 four packs of the mac and cheese cups and I yelled, <laughs> yellow gold. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Which gold is quite often yellow. <laughs> yeah, dude. Still like <laughs> yellow gold. Rony, Rony gold. And I, I came home because I did it in the morning. I came home. I like kicked my door in, and I was like, Lindsay, I got it. I got the mac and cheese cups. Success. We're set. Surprisingly. So how when, yeah. How many did you get, Michael? Well, so they had a. um. They ever since shit started going to hell, they have little. Post-it notes, basically begging people on every single aisle. Please only take one per item. Um, so thankfully they had the four packs and they had one eight pack, like a box. So I took one of each, I took a box and I took one four pack and I went, Hey, they're so different here, items. Here's what you do. Yeah, no, I can help you out with this. What you do is you take uh -oh. tape with you <laughs> and you <laughs> strap them together and look, you show them at the counter. Like it yeah, doesn't come apart. This is I, one. Here's the thing. I guarantee you, no one stops people at the counter. No. I guarantee you people grab 10 and no one does anything, which is like. I, I get it, but also I said to Jeremy, I went, man, I wanted to grab eight and I didn't because I can just go back if I need it. It ain't that crazy. I'd rather some other poor bastard like myself who's going to Walmart five days in a row looking for fucking macaroni and cheese cups finds the macaroni and cheese cups. I don't need 600 packages. I can just go back to the store that's still open. <clears throat> that why, that why makes is sense. A, they they won't be there. To but picture Ryan walking around with duct won't. tape. At a grocery store. <laughs> Jack, Jack, please. Duct, duct tape will give together. it away. You have He's to nice use clear together. packing tape. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the secret. Jack, you idiot. Mm -hmm. You fool. <laughs> it's like you've done this before. 
Uh, there, they were out of a lot of stuff at HEB like that you would expect. The last time I went shopping, this was the last week some at some point, but like, you know, the pasta was all gone. The toilet paper was oh, all gone. Dude. I dropped a bottle yeah. cap. Um, but and the I thing that was also that. all gone was uh, olive oil. Like oh, oil yeah. of any kind. And oil was all gone. Popcorn. Wow. That was the weird one for me because my kids love popcorn and I we ran out. So I went to get some more and the popcorn aisle was ravaged. What uh, what kind of popcorn do you do? You do make popcorn, or you do like bag like skinny popcorn? Yeah, man, just regular make popcorn. Just yeah. uh, I'm just looking for a jug of kernels, man, and couldn't get it. Man, I, I will say uh, before we left the office, I went and, and pillaged some of the uh, the snack supplies, and I grabbed some popcorn from the office. <gasps> you bastard! So, Here's the thing, I, Jack. I feel like, like that you're. There were like six jugs of of soap, and I was like, no, <laughs> not going that far. Not going that far. But uh, yeah, it was, I'll, it was I'll take tough. food, but not cleaning products. <laughs> yeah, but one's rarer <laughs> than the other. I'll be honest. You can go get I food. Yeah, I didn't take all of it. I just took, you know, a also, handful. Got, like maybe even, five packs of popcorn. As far as taking a couple popcorns, we were like the last ones out the door, right? There's nobody yeah. else there. That's just going to sit there. Mm -hmm. If you were taking that three weeks ago, I hate you. Yeah, yeah. Someone's doing it. There's someone in that office that's some just piling up cliff some, bars in there. Some bedroom. sickos out there. I think it's Blaine. <laughs> and I can picture them going. Oh, oh for sure. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Blaine also has your uh, punching bag frame. No question. Oh, um, no. Yeah. He but just, he doesn't have a bag for it. He couldn't get the bag. He just punches the metal. <laughs> or or it's just, just Chris to leave from it. Before he took the, the second we left, you know, he came back in and took all the weights and the, uh, the probably the, the, was the thing you lay on the bench, my brain Brian? Break. Yeah, the bench. There you go. <laughs> I work out a lot, you know. Yeah, the Michael, you bench. took the weight on, didn't you? Yeah, did you I take home the Bowflex? Nice. The are yeah, they I got those here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought about taking yeah. home the bench that we have at the office because it's better than the one I have. Mine is not adjustable, so I can't like sit up on oh. it. Mm -hmm. I you don't have like an incline and stuff. But not that I've used it. I've just been like, right. oh, I haven't used my weights either. I just figured no one else is going to use them for three weeks, and I bought them, so I guess I should bring them home. I've been just now fattening sitting, up, dude. Yeah, yeah, they're Great. just collecting dust in my bedroom. I also when I get back have, to the office. Dude. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. I also have a full, like, rack set of weights of dumbbells at home already that I don't use and collect dust. And I was like, I'll just add this to the collection. <laughs> I mean, now we can't go to the gym even if we wanted to. So I'm just going to put on about 20, 30 pounds. Oh, that's uh, to start you're low balling. You're low yeah, yeah. balling. 20, 30 pounds. That's, that's the first that's, week, Ryan. No, that's week my starter one. mass. That's what starter I'm going to, that's mass? the foundation that I'm going to build okay. the rest of my gut okay. on. Okay. All right. Correct. Oh, you're going for you a don't want to go straight to it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, then I can get rid of it in stages. I don't want to go straight you want a, back. You want to, a base. For then the larger gut to sit mm. on top of. Yeah. You yeah, can't yeah, have a house yeah. without a foundation. That makes a lot of sense. Exactly. You got to have the thicker gut to hold the weight of the lighter gut on top of it. I'm just talking science, uh, man. I don't know why you're laughing. You're, talking, you're, you're spitting straight figures. This that is, is a joke science. somebody told me earlier. It's engineering is what it is. This is math. I'm just I'm throwing <laughs> math. Been, uh... <laughs> Here's math. Oh, dude. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I don't know if it's a conversation I, I missed. Um, but I just saw somebody in the RT chat say cheese and sandwich meat. I hit the fucking jackpot the last time I went to Walmart because nothing to do with the pandemic. Just in general, no one works in the fucking deli department, which is uh -huh. infuriating because I grew up on like deli meats and cheeses. So I would anytime I go to a grocery store, it's like you go get it sliced. It's way why buy like I don't give a shit about eating packaged meat. But when they have the fucking meat there that they will cut for you and give you more so not i mean it's still packaged meat but like then processed meat you get that and it's way cheaper it's always way cheaper than buying you get like double the size for sometimes half the price but there's never anyone that works there in the walmart that i go to so every time i went there was nobody the last time i went there were two people working there and i just went oh you're done you're done for <laughs> so i went over there i want it all and it's also it's a it's a weird thing because you know they ask again throughout the store like please don't buy in bulk please don't buy all this shit but deli meat you just give them a pound you know or like it's just like mm -hmm. give me this much weight of meat and there were no signs so usually i get a pound is like standard i you know i don't usually get less than that if i'm bothering to go to the store and get it so iris eats turkey every morning for breakfast i usually give her um 
<clears throat> like I'll put cream cheese in a turkey and then roll it up and give her a turkey roll. And, you know, I was out of turkey from Amazon Prime. So I'm like, oh, cool. They got turkey. So I get two pounds of turkey, which is a pretty fat stack. That's um, a fat stack yeah. of turkey. That's it, a lot. it was a fat stack of turkey getting two pounds, but it was like, okay, whatever. And then she's like, here you go. And then I go, uh, can I also get two pounds of uh, like white American cheese? She's like, okay. And dude, she's cutting it and stacking it. And, you know, they always do the thing where they cut, they just kind of guess, they throw it on the scale and they're like, oh, not enough. Mm -hmm. And then they go back to the slicer. They cut some more. This fucking stack was like <laughs> 10 inches tall. She puts it on the scale. And she stares at it and she goes, that's not two pounds. <laughs> Do you still want more? It was like <laughs> 1.6 pounds. And I'd never seen more cheese in my life. And I felt embarrassed. And I was like, no, that's fine. That's fine. Man. <laughs> please, I don't, please stop. I don't, need the, I don't need the two full pounds of cheese. I felt the need to tell her. I went, I, I have kids though, too. So, you know, like it's not they just eat me. a lot of cheese. <laughs> They'll, they'll eat them. Tolerate, it, but they eat I all just, the like, cheese. Give me two pounds of cheese, one bite. I'm full, and I throw it away. Yeah. And, but then, right before we started, you saw I had a fat sandwich. I used four slices of those cheese. It saw mm, me in that, like I was ten again. Did you Stop take your required pills to stop you from having a problem? No. No, you'll <laughs> see man. on the on the video chat. I'm shaking my head no wildly. <laughs> no, I man. I forgot about it until you just mentioned it. And that didn't How? even count. How? That didn't even count, Ryan. That didn't even count because the way it works is, you know, it's just like cheese sliced and they put like a little piece of paper and then more cheese because they don't put all the cheese together because it'll stick together. They layer like little thin strips of paper in between stacks of cheese. Mm -hmm. um, it breaks inevitably. You get like breaks and whatever. So I probably True. ate a, sli a slice and a half just assembling the sandwich. Like, well, that's broken. I can't put that on the sandwich. I'll eat that. <laughs> That's so good I'm on you, Michael. Don't be waiting. I'm going to shit later. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm going to shit later. Hey, you're at a great place to do it. You're home. I'm at a Where great are you place. Going? Trevor, Trevor yeah. said it today. He said today on the group channel, like, man, a positive side of working from home is I is basically said he shit so bad that he like fumigated his house. Yeah. And it's so funny because when we were streaming yesterday, we did a quick um, after we streamed video, like uh, played a bunch of gameplays all day. At the end, we just had a little, little like hangout sesh with RTTV with the with the community, and um, you know there was kind of like I, so either one of us or somebody in the chat poised the question of like you know so what are what are some of the positives of like being at home? And there there was eight of us in there, so everybody didn't really answer. But my immediate answer that I didn't say was I can just take a shit whenever I want and get to use my bidet. I can, I don't have to hold it. I don't mm. have to be like, Oh no, I'm at the office. This is going to be messy. I'm going to regret this. I just go, be right back. And then I just go to town and then I come back. I come back to my chair. It's a much shorter walk to the bathroom. It's just down the hall. I don't have to run out of the building or down like three corridors. Um, there's no like boogers on the wall or pee on top of the urinals. It's very nice. It's very comforting. Michael, what's worth? You could take your surface and take it to the restroom, and we probably wouldn't know the nope. difference. No, no, nope, nope, nope. So don't do that. Oh, no, that. Who's I'll hear it. it. I'll I know. took my that, I I took my capture PC. I have a very long cord. I dragged <laughs> it. <laughs> Good I know, like Michael, in one of his, I'm being helpful. Uh, fits, I'm very helpful, which I mm -hmm. love is um. Mm -hmm. Uh, someone said in our chat was like, oh, and make sure you have your Discord set up so that we can all talk to each other. And Michael's response was something along the lines of, I grabbed a lot of things from the office, but I didn't take a disc cord. How long is that? Or something like that. I, I, said, I, said, I, looked at the message. I said, am I, I screwed? Like, oh. I forgot my disc cord. Am I screwed? Oh. It's, so it's, lots of times now, I'll correct Michael because I think he's doing that fake helpful thing, but he's not. He's actually answering something <laughs> for real. But I assume yeah. he's being difficult. There was one of those um, this morning or last night, and it's all blurring together, but we were talking yeah. about filming uh, roulette's play. So we ended up filming Depth. And uh, we were talking oh. in the chat and someone was like, yeah, uh, we got to do, I think it was probably yesterday. Cause it's like, we got to do um, depth, you know? So we'll do that first thing in the morning, like 1030. <clears throat> and I say, I said, you know, we need six. And Jeremy just went, no. And so then like a couple seconds went by and I just went, what? Like, what do you mean? No. And someone goes, hang on. I'm, I don't remember who it was. Someone's like, I'm just it interjecting here. You were like, yeah. so, so, 
Michael said we need six people, but Jeremy was just assuming that he was being helpful again, and he was telling people we're recording at six p.m. Yeah, that's and not I, even the only then, time that that conversation has happened since we started doing this. Something about Discord, talking on Discord has broken Jeremy's ability to connect conversations together. It's weird. It's because it I'm here. We're, well, it's not, we were talking it's about not, Half-Life earlier, and he was like, "There." I wonder if, you know, who's that main character from oh Half-Life, that Freeman guy, or the, what the, from the VR thingy, and I went, uh, from you mean from Alex? He went, no, 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 not that. The the Freeman guy, I'm like, no, the, the <laughs> VR thingy is is the name of the game is Alex, Half-Life yeah. Alex. No, it's it's yeah, also you, a character. You're, literally, you're like, Morgan Freeman. You say, you're Morgan Freeman. You're like, Gordon, Gordon Freeman. Freeman. Is he, Gordon Freeman, is he in that new that new VR thing, whatever it's called? And Ryan went, Alex. He went, no, 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 Gordon Freeman. Is he in <laughs> Gordon. Like, no, no, that's the name of the game. Well, okay, so I'm already really bad at like, <laughs> If someone's talking to me and I'm focused on something else, I don't hear them. But now we have these Discord conversations of six people talking. I'll hear one and go, that is the human I'm talking to. And if someone else says something, it doesn't make it in. I'm like, <laughs> I'm responding to that person. And it's just bad. Just one way. I'm, I'm, no, I had, I'm no good. I a, dude, I had a helpful moment. It was either Monday or Tuesday. One of the last days we were in the office where we were set, we were setting up for Minecraft. And, uh, you know, this thing happens in Minecraft because we're all on the same IP address at the office. So if you try to log in to Minecraft and you get your password wrong, like your login information is wrong. If you do it too many times, it locks you out for like a minute, two minutes. But when six people get it wrong at the same time, since it's all on the same IP, it just locks everyone out. So even if you haven't even tried yet, you try to log in and your and your information is correct, it'll it'll be like you can't get in right now. And this happens all the time. So Constantly. we were having one of those moments where we were trying to do Minecraft and a bunch of people got locked out. And it must have been said three times already of like, oh, I can't get in. Like, oh, I don't know. And someone else goes, oh, I can't get in either. And the the conversation of the room was, hey, guys, we're frozen right now. We're okay. frozen. You can't get in Minecraft. And I, <laughs> I hadn't said anything yet. So I sat down. I opened Minecraft. <laughs> and I just said aloud, oh, what the hell? I can't log in Minecraft right now. And Matt immediately goes, yeah, I, I, was, I don't know. I think, but or what did he? What, I said like, oh, I can't log. He's like, yeah, I can't right get now. in either. We must be locked out. Yeah, <laughs> like, and Matt goes, yeah, with with you. Me either. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And I almost broke my neck to snap and look at Jeremy <laughs> because I couldn't believe that Matt had replied to what I said because it was so sarcastic because four <laughs> people had already said it that Matt acknowledged me and didn't know that it was a thing that was already discussed. And I just stared at Jeremy for maybe 10 seconds. And I just, I was just shaking my head. That was one of the things that I, broke me. You broke me like once or twice in the two days uh, think, that we were no, I know in the office. You, in you got me an Awu fucking bad. And the thing is, I don't think it really comes across in, no, uh, in the filming of it. Cause you kind of, you say it, and then the camera turns away from us, and that's when I lost it. But like <laughs> something came up that was Iron Man related. Somebody, somebody, somebody sent us. It'll be on this on the new album coming out. Somebody yeah. sent us like two big cases of comic books. That was it. And uh, you pulled one of them out, and you saw, or like Jack pulled one out, and he was like, "Oh wow, Iron Man is in here." And Michael, it goes, was Wolverine whoa. like killing Iron Man. Yeah, he yeah. goes, "Whoa, Iron Man." You and your friends are dead, which is Batman and <laughs> definitely not Iron Man. And that broke me because he was so excited about it and then said that. It was like such a good nothing moment. It was definitely a nothing moment because I had no idea what you were even laughing at. I was confused. <laughs> and you just like couldn't get it back together. And then I went, nope. wow, I'm, I'm really funny. Hey, good, oh, good job me. I didn't, even, I didn't even know I was that funny. That's why Jeremy's good to have around. He's a barometer. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's me. I laugh at everything, though. Yeah. Or a lot of things. Now you, now you ruined it. And I will say, no. we've been very productive over the last two days already. Like, we've actually been yeah, doing stuff and making content, and it's going pretty well. And I don't know what that says about us or our office, but <laughs> it's, it's, the fact it's that, scary. Uh, yeah. Like, we filmed like some GTA for you guys better. Some tests. Like, it's, it's going nicely. Speaking of which, I gotta update that schedule. We're even further out than we thought. 
Like pretty we've soon, we'll actually have enough content to cover us through what is currently our lockdown. I can only is, imagine I, that's going to extend. Like, I believe I right know. now, as far as Austin, it's April 13th is when it's yeah. supposed to live. Mm-hmm. And we're pretty covered on on content, except for Ready Set Show, which is like a nightmare to try to figure out what that's gonna be. Ew. But um, yeah, we've done a lot of things. Like Minecraft is is we haven't filmed it yet uh, in all different places, but like should be all figured though. out and everything. We've already, I mean, we've filmed on the server we'll be using, so we're already the hard part of that should be covered. If anything, right. it'll be easier. That's that, of course, that's what we thought when it came to doing GTA. Which things have been going so smooth that we got cocky. <laughs> not to give yeah. cocky. Wait, what happened? GTA, well, not to give G- GTA credit, but it really seemed like a server thing today, like a maintenance yeah. thing, because something was like it was it was not fuckier than usual, but in a just this isn't working. Not what the hell is happening? So we had the unfortunate. I guess realization of there's a couple of other things we can do to again, try criminal masterminds. Yeah. And, and I said this to Gavin, the worst part about it is we want to do it. So the game Mm -hmm. keeps winning and we just keep trying it over and over and over again. So our initial thought was, Hey, we're all going to be home. We're all going to be on our own internet. It's always a problem in the office, getting four to six people in one game on the same internet. It always like somebody can't get in or somebody disconnects. So we thought right there, we're going to have an advantage. And then on top of that, Gavin is always getting dropped from the frigging crew for no reason. Mm -hmm. So we decided today, let's have him make a crew and surely he can't get dropped from his own crew that he's created. It's infallible. It's infallible. So we, before, right before the podcast, we're like, all right, let's the four of us get back in GTA, reset our progress back to zero for criminal masterminds, doomsday, have Gavin make the crew, join the crew. We'll knock out our first couple missions. After an hour, we got the crew created. Our missions reset to zero. That's it. (laughs) And that's it. Mm -hmm. That is what we achieved. And it was, it was like, it was like punching a wall. It was just, there was a moment during it where the four of us had three different levels of progression through criminal masterminds. Yep. We like different numbers. That was the beginning. I think we were stuck in that. The issue with Criminal Masterminds is it's always the game deems for some unknown reason and a bullshit reason that we did not adhere to what the requirements are. Mm -hmm. And so it resets us. We couldn't even get it to reset us. The game wouldn't work enough. Like we're starting missions and quitting missions and Jeremy would go, still at three, still at three at 29. It's like, how? How are we not at zero? We're now we're going against the rules and it's not restarting us ryan was sending like phone invites that were never appearing like stuff that's never happened before in the game and we finally just chalked it up to like i it's we you know what let's take the little success we reset the zero gavin made a crew let's just come back later i was just we have to do the podcast it's yeah just- the servers were definitely acting up as well like we were having a lot of trouble getting into lobbies with each other or just connecting to online in general and i think that's going to happen with a lot of games I yeah. think anyways, just there's because a lot going on so many people at home using the internet constantly and just going, well, I guess I'll just load a game up. Like why the and hell it, not that. anyone asking There's a couple people in the, in the chat, we absolutely did not record it. And I'm thankful that we didn't do you we wouldn't have gotten excited. anything out of it. No, it was worse than when anyway. we were depressed. It was, it was worse. It was worse because we had a bit of, we had a streak of hope. And then Ryan kept saying, why, <laughs> why did we believe? Why Don't did we believe? We knew we'd, and then we're just going Wait, well, hey, Hang on. There's hang on. You might be able to do this. We should so have done. We're, we're trying. Hang on was a bad idea. We're, we're struggling once again to try to do something with Criminal Masterminds Doomsday. So maybe, but probably maybe. not. But maybe, but probably not. I'm making sure our child- the marker well, you got hi. some time. So hopefully. Uh, Lindsay, the hi, Lindsay. Or, uh, she's grabbing the marker for Iris. Oh. She, well, she came in left. They're for her, aren't they? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, now's the time Whoa. to practice something like that. Drawing or whatever you whatever other yeah. hobby you've ever wanted to I, practice. I ordered, I'll tell you, they're delivering school supplies. I ordered those like three days ago. I we, uh, our, oh, yeah. New markers. Yeah, we're trying to figure out how to homeschool kids because now it's which uh, hate to say uh, my kids are. Mm, 
I'm sorry, kids. Oh? You, Daddy oh? is not the best homeschool teacher. Is the issue? Oh, okay. I didn't know oh, where no, that was just, going. Yeah. I was, yeah, no, sorry, I was, kids. Just, you're done. Like, it's like, over. I'm, well, I'm not sure it. that I'm doing a good job of explaining things. I'm just like, I'm, yeah, it's math. Come on. As, as much as like doo doo is going on right now, I am so lucky of like where Lindsay and I are. Like, we're already married. We don't have a wedding coming up. We we already had the kids. We don't have babies coming up. But they're also young enough where they're not in school. So like we're yeah. at we're at a very convenient level to be incredibly inconvenienced right now with the world shutting down. Most mm -hmm. people are screwed. And it's yeah, just I've like got, we're just lucky. We fell friends. right in the middle of it. I've got two friends that are they're uh they're due to have their babies in June. Like two like uh. two separate groups of people that both have babies due in June. And it's like, oh, that sucks. And so yeah, I I, I can't imagine. So that's just that's pretty the stress, rough. dude. It's pretty stressful when everything is functioning normally in society. Jeremy, how are you handling your kids during this uh, oh, this it's time? Pretty <laughs> rough. Oh man, you know they're doing what they can. I actually am having like Cat and I thought, and we were idiots. We thought that getting a dog <laughs> would this would be a good time to do it because we're both home for three weeks. We're like, okay, so you get a new puppy, you're supposed to watch it, you know, make sure it's not getting anywhere. It's not supposed to be train it mm -hmm. and, and everything like that. So we we're like, perfect. This is a perfect time to do it. We wanted a dog for a long time. Now, like the dog's not feeling well and stuff like that. So it requires extra attention for us to, to be around for. And I thought like when we originally talked about working from home, there was a lot of things like it kind of sounded like, oh, there will be kind of this block of recording time and then maybe like this kind of rest time where we're not doing something or whatever. And then and I'm like, OK, so during sections like that, I can be with the dog. And then, you know, other than that, cat will like just kind of be on call for the dog. But so far, we've been recording a lot. Like today, mm -hmm. I've pretty much almost always been in the chat with like all of you guys. I think we've, we've pretty much been going since, you know, the, it's like been this morning. It's been really effective and I feel like we're like the advantage, at least for me being computer illiterate, the thing that I have going for me, which I think is kind of across the board for some people is as much as a pain in the ass it was to drag everything home and set everything up. The fact that I did it and I had to set it up means I know how it works, which is never the case mm -hmm. in the office because I go, no. I don't know. I don't know. And then somebody fixes it. So we've actually, like you said earlier, been doing really well at recording and it's not as like. I don't know. It's not as time sensitive or I should say like time constrained in the office is as like we, we don't have two minutes between videos, but it's mm -hmm. not like we've ever taken a break. It's no more than maybe 15 minutes in between each videos because everything's running so smoothly and we're just trying to keep filming and recording and streaming. So like our days are pretty packed. It's certainly yeah, we not have that, like, we're working from home and, and doing, we're overcompensating you know, a little bit and that's not bad. Great. For trying it's a to, great thing. Yeah. There's been an abundance uh, uh, from the audience uh, uh, of just being like, man, so like, what are you guys going to do now that you're home? And I'm just like, what we do at the office. Yeah, yeah the majority we're, just trying to, we're just trying to do as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, like the, like a lot of people do this stuff, you know, like the creatures before they had a house. It was a bunch of guys streaming together and like they same sort of deal. And it's just, you know, we're, we're stepping backwards. We're going from being in a room together to being in elsewhere. But we're all smart enough. We've all done this long enough that we know what we're doing. And so... Hopefully there won't be much of a change for the audience. Like you won't be able to notice a significant difference between uh, the stuff we film at the office versus the stuff we film here. So it'll sound it's, a little different because mm -hmm. it, there will be inconsistencies with microphones and things like that. We don't always have the same setup or even like a lot of us have mixers that have equalizers on them and they're not all set the exact same. Um, so that's going to be probably the only noticeable difference is just like slight difference in audio quality or like, if there's a little bit of reverb on someone or anything like that, that's I will just say in a different is, room. Yeah, there is a pretty noticeable and comedic difference we've noticed so far in all the games we played is Chicken Horse. It's it's Ugh. got a couple of little like lag spikes through, through online. Not that it's like not like it's bad. It's just a thing we've never experienced because there's local. And the biggest thing to not go into it because we talked about it in the videos they'll come out. We've already filmed some chickies, but the biggest thing is. You know, in Chicken Horse, every round starts with everybody grabs an item. And when someone takes the item, it's gone. But because of, um, you know, just like the lag online, I guess they were just like, fuck it. If we can't tell who grabbed it first, you both get it. 
So it's very, very easy. Like it's not rare at all for two people to have the same item. And when it's shit like the wrecking ball or a black hole or a crossbow, it's like, and you can see it happen because two characters will go to one item and then the item in both characters disappear. And I go, that's a double. That's a double crossbow. <laughs> and it's a double crossbow. There was there was one round when we did it, we got three of one thing. Oh so God. like, but it's kind of funny because it adds to the gameplay of like, oh, there's three bees. Like there's three beehives. Well, there's also that little bit of lag as well in the gameplay. So People aren't exactly where you think they are. Sometimes you'll get yeah. bumped by someone because we put bunsing on. So like you'll get bumped by someone Always. that isn't that close to you. Or like someone will look like they get nailed by a mortar yeah. and but they're there's, fine. There's a, there's a lot of things where it looks like people died and they didn't. But that's just yeah. for the person, the other three people, obviously, not the person <laughs> playing. Like it's it still plays. The only thing we really noticed was you can't shove people. They don't move. No, like, yeah. like with, 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 with bunting, corpses, being, for sure. being like, being like physical, you know, standard in the game is you walk through each other. But if you turn on like physical objects, like you can push people into traps and shit online, you push them, but it's like walking into a wall. They don't actually get pushed back, which is interesting. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know if they've just decided with some stuff online. They're just like, ah, eh, that doesn't work. Or it's just you know the network i have no idea um but it's slightly different but it's still it's still pretty fun and the double items definitely added like a new element to the game it was like it was like a modifier almost being mm -hmm. added like ooh, you could get two of one item ooh. ryan did that hunt showdown with matt ever come out not that i'm aware of okay uh, that must be what's coming out in like a little bit yeah we did fun, we man. did it is a lot of fun we, that was actually the first video we tried to uh do a test in from this whole home setup. Jeremy and I did one of those. Uh, and the one we tested probably will never come out because it was pretty meh. It was not great. <laughs> it was our performance was meh. We we met mm -hmm. it real hard. There was there was no successes, nothing really to celebrate. How did uh, how did Warzone go, by the way? I, I jumped in like a little bit on that stream, but uh, it was fun. Uh, we played a lot of plunder. Uh, it was just kind of trying to figure out what what's going on with our home setups and make sure everybody's, you know, as Alfredo of course is checking, Oh, my DPI is a little low. I need to tweak that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm what like, why are my frames He's gone? His home setup. What do you, yeah, <laughs> this could not I be know. any more of his home ground. Oh, he's so excited about that, especially for getting to things like, uh, Gmod. He's really looking forward to oh, Gmodding. No. On his he's he's like bragging about it. Shot, headshot so many people. It's yeah, going to be think no. about that. He, he yeah. will, but the funny part is like Gmod is not a game that that is always just straight a, a fight. So mm -hmm. I feel like he's just put a target on his back where it's like, yep. oh, okay, you're at your home setup and you're going to be able to snipe people. I'm going to shoot you in the back of the head as soon as the round Take him out. There's kind of always a target on his head because he always acts well, like such a freak. Well, now his, his target just got bigger. He does. Well, tomorrow we're talking about playing, you know, streaming some stuff. We're doing another stream. I, I think the plan yeah, is to still do those three times a week. Those those big boys. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, um, Friday. Yep. And we've talked about playing Deceit possibly. Uh, I don't. I don't want to set it in stone. I think you know, you just in case in something happens, you never know. In. But um. Deceit, he's an ultra freak in that. He's like, he'll just stand next to the blood and like, when he's like innocent mm -hmm. or like, you know, I don't know. He's impossible. You don't want to talk about it. Ugh, that freaking guy. <laughs> that freaking guy, dude. That freaking guy, dude. That freaking guy. Man, take it back. Sorry. Clack -clack. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, you can clack. Everyone's listening in. I'm I'm just talking in chat right now. People are asking about my my machines and stuff. Uh, it, it is machines. interesting. It is interesting peeking in on everyone's office. Like so, yesterday afternoon we uh, we streamed. We had a, a a chat. So if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever, or listening to it at the end of our RT TV streams, we do like 30 minutes where we just kind of talk with each other and talk with the audience and things. And uh, it it turned out really really cool. We we got what is it i think we got eight of us eight into of us, one yeah. big conversation it looked like the brady bunch and um like it was interesting looking at everyone's different setups and how clean they are and how fiona was in a hotel hallway and uh <laughs> you know all of our nice. and then matt braggs was just like someone dumped trash behind him. <laughs> <laughs> well i wouldn't say i wouldn't say He's trash basically off through the grouch it, it yeah, wasn't it, trash but it was no. shit everywhere it was yeah, yeah. It was just, 
You knew he had a couch, but it was I mean, buried in things. Matt, so. when we got in there before we went live, I think it was at that moment, or it was whenever the first time Matt opened his, his camera was, he went, oh, fuck, I really should have cleaned this place. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty funny. Pretty, it's it's interesting seeing the people who are like, okay, we're used to. There we go. If you're watching live, oh yeah, it's, it's just. I turned to my camera today. No, oh, nice. I noticed that. I thought your well, I thought your background well, was different. No, it's because the way I have it set up, my this is my capture computer that I'm looking at. So during mm -hmm. that end thing, I was facing this way with my with my webcam. So mm -hmm. I was watching. Because that's my gaming PC. I was watching the delayed images of you guys, so I like uh, I was reacting to you ten seconds later. Like I was watching what the audience was watching, and oh. I just didn't want to like keep turning my head every two seconds. So I moved some cables around and shit, and I moved my webcam, and I'm just like, I'm gonna use the fucking PC that actually has the software running on it and the capture. Something software. I noticed about your space, my you got you got some cool artwork. I got cool that's something about your yeah. whole house in general. Yeah. You got some really uh, you cool. See on the everywhere. on the tip there, it's the this is the, I have all seven Harry Potter books. They like posters framed. That's it's cool. It's the um, it's the outside of Hogwarts, and then each poster represents kind of what's going on in the film. So like you can see six and seven on the end there, and I also have them staggered because I'm like I'm gonna stagger them. So it kind of goes <laughs> up and down. Um, the six one there is I like cool. To think in my because brain, you, you were making that noise as you were hanging them. Like, oh, I was for sure. figure it right now. <laughs> you're 100 percent correct, Ryan. Um, and the sixth one there, you see, there's like a little green light in Hogwarts. That's Dumbledore getting bipped. That's him going. Oh, yeah. Spoiler. The Avada Kedavra. So there's some. Cool I only have one piece of in the. What's that, Jack? Those Ali Moss posters, I think. Uh, the no idea. I've had this uh, for so long. Yeah, those are Ali, Ali Moss. He, he's the, he does have, a lot of Marvel stuff and a bunch of cool stuff. I have stuff. like a bunch of shit in my hallway, like going up the stairs. I got the right. Look at all that. Right in the yeah, way back so cool. there. That's the that's the Rooster Teeth theme park. The big mm -hmm. uh, uh, 36 by 24. I love that poster. Then we got some got some artwork that Lindsay got from Miles that he was like getting rid of. I got like a Dead Space poster. and I, I like hanging shit in my wall. Oh, that's the them right there. there. they are. That's them. There yeah. If you're watching so you got, like, it's, the, it's, the first one is got Hagrid and Harry like look where that's the car that's is school. in the second one there magic in the car mm -hmm. and then you got the the stag uh, Patronus and then the fourth one is like the games and then you got K the flying up here. Was, and the fifth very one. excited that you have those posters Michael yeah we've had those for a while they're awesome I love those those yeah, are super really cool. cool yeah um I only have one piece of artwork in my office and it's Remy Tim fighting Thanos sure Sure. <laughs> That's all I have. It's over there. Uh, it's it's like there really hard is. to see like Remy Tim jumping in the air, fighting, oh, punching nice. fans. <laughs> a fan made me that, and I was like, well, I'm going to hang that up for sure. <laughs> Lindsay actually put this up. This is pretty cool. So we've got, this is the poster for the Japanese poster for Laser Team. And then she put the four action figures and then like a copy of the DVD or the Blu-ray like on top of it. And I punched my microphone. Nice. So that's like, that's like, look at this piece of shit. All right, here's a question for people that I just yeah. thought about with moving the cameras people. there. What are people wearing right now for pants? Pajamas. No, I've got, I've got no, gym shorts. Whoa. Yeah, I, I got, got gym shorts on as well. Oh nice. yeah, <laughs> it was very satisfying to wake up this morning, get uh, like wake up, brush my teeth, uh, take a shower all clean clothes and then the last step was put pants on and it went right to pajamas and i was like yeah, they're so good, dude they're so comfy i realized yesterday i didn't step outside until like 11 o'clock at night i was like oh man i haven't even left indoors and then i was like i have to go get trash so i had to go bring in the trash bins from uh from outside <laughs> nice <laughs> nice Stop twerking. They're nice. They're nice jammies, dude. Nautica. Nautica brand. You know, look at that swoop. What does that mean? I don't know. I I'm a shill. I I'm say Xbox Live because I'm a shill. <laughs> You're not a shill. Did you buy them or did you get them for free? I can't remember. You probably bought them then. I had to buy these. Nautica, send me some more jammies. Medium, please. <laughs> And and Jack, are you still massaging your feet? Or are you done? Oh God! No, I, I woke earlier, so I have mm -hmm. yeah. We while we were recording some GTA <laughs> earlier, I mentioned I've got a foot massager. Hang on, let me see if I can pull up. It's, it's, I literally it's a thing I got for Christmas. Oh, God. And uh, yeah, it it's a it's a foot massager that you put your feet in, 
<laughs> and it massages your feet. And so it's like a under torture device. Just under my, it like it holds onto your feet and like it's as I like push in the bottom of it, it's it's super comfy. And so I was like, all right, yeah, I'm just getting a little foot massage while working. It's pretty rad. So but you uh, were talking about it during GTA. Oh, it was, it was great. great. Mm -hmm. It, it was making talking. Gab very uncomfortable. And Gavin kept going, yeah. stop talking about your feet. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I've got going on. But you know, like I was saying, it's not one of those like water foot massagers where it's like hot water. Like, I don't want to do that. That's, that'd be gross. But uh, I'm not putting on shoes today is what it comes down to. No, yeah, yeah, why bother? Yeah. That's, but, uh, my plan is not to see the sun for as long as possible. If I can get as milky white as, as I can, that that's the, the goal. For a second, I thought you said it's, it's my goal is to not see my son for the longest time. <laughs> no, I, get, I still have to <laughs> see him. Doing that. That's required. Uh, yeah. By law. Uh, by the state. It is, it is by law, but also by choice. But it's been interesting, like doing all the setups from the house and whatnot. Like the first time I loaded Gmod on my home computer, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll launch it just to get everything, make sure it works. And then I downloaded like 300 mods that we had we'd been using for all the time, you know, all the different yeah. maps and stuff. And like I had to fresh install GTA, which is about 70 gigs. It's like, oh, yeah, that's something I we, we don't really do that too often. And so and having to get my Xbox set up at, at home again, so. you know, that was something really very sucks. nice about uh, uh, downloading Chicky Do when when it, like because normally we don't have to a lot of us don't have to own Chicky it's just a one single screen thing so right. now it's like oh well now four of us need to actually own the game but uh I was like oh crap I haven't installed that yet and we're gonna record a video in it it was I, I didn't realize that that game despite how much we play it how good it is it's like 500 megs or something it's not the whole game oh yeah it's tiny oh well I mean it's and not 3D nice. or anything so it's, it's all no. just sprites just just a like a um. I don't know, nice feature in the game, like especially for us who it's it's data is saved locally. So it's like depending on what PC you're playing on. I mean, imagine if you're on Xbox Live, maybe it's it's probably on the cloud, but you you unlock shit as you play the game. Like when the game starts, even vanilla, you have two levels. And then the way it works is when you play matches, they'll just be like a little floating box and you get the box and it'll go. It, I think it's just levels and characters. I think all the the, the items are in the game but it's like oh you unlocked the third level or you unlocked the fucking squirrel or whatever um but they have a code for like any like pc or console you just go do 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 on the menu pff, unlocks everything and it's so useful for us where it's like mm -hmm. oh i can't imagine if we had to like on like characters or whatever yeah you want to be the character you want to be but you could pick anybody but the level like, the game starts with two levels that would suck if we had to come home and go oh no that's on my gaming pc at work we have to play the whole game over again i don't know how many times we've gone to play chicken horse and just went do 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 unlock everything it's just not it's just a great feature it's that very convenient don't, good old games don't codes. have that there's not a lot of games that have that nowadays that, I, that comes off the top of my head and it's just so convenient i just love that game so much it's such a it's such a well-built game it's such a good creative game where you can make whatever you want every single time we've been playing that game for so long and still we make new stuff or we make new hells, you know, where it's like, it never feels the same. I've never once played chicken horse and went, eh, like there was nothing new in that video. There's always some kind of crazy bullshit. There's always some kind of trap somebody makes. And there's always some kind of crazy move somebody does to get around it. Or Gavin, Gavin hides a portal somewhere that nobody noticed. And he just walks. Right I noticed it. when you guys did the live stream, something I didn't, the, that space level where you get sucked up into the UFO, the new one. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that mortars get sucked up by it. That was like a new thing I didn't even realize. It has Holy such God. a good physics mm -hmm. engine. I, it's like the first time we ever saw that a black hole warped the, the trajectory of a projectile, we were like, oh my God. What? <laughs> now, what's the, what's the, <laughs> it, it's you've what ever now? had a level go from like starting it, like your first round to impossible? <sighs> other than like literally impossible because of distances. Yeah, or even or or like someone puts a piece of wood where you can't get through. Then then mm -hmm, it's like, yeah. what are you doing, man? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, like, doing? It's like, Why would like you three rounds, down? you can get a you can get a map to the point where it's like, okay, this has become an utter nightmare, right? Yeah, but even even nightmares, it's funny because you know we we usually always play with the round limit on, which I think is twelve. I think that's the default. So after default, after yeah. after nine rounds, it says you have three rounds left, and if nobody gets to the score goal, whoever has the most wins. But like it's it's always even when we don't beat a level for six rounds, 
we're always like, oh, somebody could have done that. Like you always get that close where you just want to keep trying because there's you there's a fine line path. between this is really hard and now you've made it impossible. You can't do it. And it's very <laughs> easy to tell. It's, it's like you said, it's a matter of like, well, you've spaced out the jumps too far. Physically in this game, you can't jump that far. It's impossible. Or you put a block there and you can't get around it. Other than that, I mean, like there's there's so many things to make it just possible enough, but super difficult. Yeah, I'm done now. Lingered on me now. Every time we talk about it, it just makes me want to play more. I Jeremy, know. I want to have a, I want to have another beer, and I lost my keys. I lost my bottle. I can't find them. I was looking. I was looking around for a panic for about thirty seconds. I, I don't know where they are, and my bottle opener. You didn't is, lose your keys. I took them. You okay. were having too much beer. Oh, thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Oh, looking out for you. Robe. Oh, hang on. There my. Uh oh. <laughs> I forgot. I took my robe off because it finally got too hot. Hey, if you, you ever need? Your... You know, if there's ever a time to lose your keys, it's now because you ain't going yeah. nowhere. Where are you going, Ryan? I'll never lose my Yo. keys. With tile, you cut oh, away so, at Jack's cat. Go back to Jack's cat. It's more <laughs> interesting, but I have tile. Oh, I think Gavin said those don't work. Well, is Gavin's that the one that just shit. makes a noise, or does he, can you geolocate it? Just both. It makes the noise only mm. if you're close enough. You can geolocate to an area, and then it'll make the noise. And what's even more convenient, because I don't lose my keys that often, but I lose my phone. You double tap it if it's connected to your phone. Then your phone rings. Oh. So you're so you like, where's my phone? Do it. Yeah, you can it's got reverse technology. Uh I'm all, you know I'm all piled up, bro. I got I got a little they have like a credit card one that goes in your wallet. You lose your wallet. It's just literally like a credit card. You slide in there. I have them in my backpacks for when I travel. I'm locked down. I have uh I have discovered that the worst thing you can do in the world is try and rent a dedicated server for gaming oh so, is it is it oh, difficult no. it looks pretty bad Why? dude it's Don't rent so bad. bad i wanted to buy but then we'd have to get it co-located somewhere and the, the world shut down i don't, I don't think they're gonna be saying, like do it pull the trigger well i gotta co-locate. put it somewhere i Ryan, no, it's to gotta co-locate. go in a data center to do that i can't do, get to the data center right now that's okay data's fine i like centers I mean, you can't get the virus from the data center, but you can get it from the people that go to the data center. So that's the guitar so like center. Can yeah, you get one guitar center? We don't go out very much. So of all people, that's going to be the ones that don't go. And, you know, they're probably safe. It's, if I walk into a data center right now, there's going to be a nerd hiding in the corner that thinks that the zombie apocalypse is starting and is going to double tap me in the head. You're going to get blasted. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. blasted. I mean, that dedicated uh, server, though, that's what we need for Gmod, right? Well, yeah, I, so that's yeah, okay. So here's the it. thing: uh, we already have a Minecraft server. Uh, it's not that hard to get a server that is specific to a game. So if Stop. I wanted a GMod server, I can pay ten bucks to the same place that's doing our Minecraft server and get a GMod server done. But what if we want to play Seven Days to Die? Here's so, the thing: worry about yeah. that later. GMod now, other stuff later. Am I right? I mean, I could do GMod now. Maybe. Well, we have a Minecraft server now, finally. He just yeah, said we that. do have, well, he just said you it. say finally. Why yeah, finally? We, focused we, on we, a cat, look, we, we never needed yeah. one. I mean, well, we we have one like an off-site server. It's not just like someone's computer or one in the next room. It's That's it's better. Nice that well, you don't have to leave. No, that's better because latency. That's the other part. Is As you're shopping for these servers, the other main problem is how far away is it? Because... There's a physical distance limitation on limit on, on your latency and the number of hops it has to take. So I'll find wow. li- finally a company that got, that. that their website works because uh, I went to one yesterday that was like, wow, all right, they got a data center in Dallas. We're good to go. I try and sign up for it and it says, all right, please enter the root password. Only on the sign up page, there is no entry point for root password. It's yes. asking for information that it will not let me enter. Ryan, you have to pass the test. That's these it. are the That's people selling the internet. internet. Yeah, but they only want the best of the best. They're like, if this guy can't get the password, we don't want his That's business. True. I can't yeah. give him the password. They didn't give me the block for the password. Do, I do, it blows block. my Maybe mind. Is it like, do these what people sit there, they own this company, and they're like, man, no one has ever <laughs> bought one of our dedicated servers. Not once. I guess our service is just awful. Stop it, Jack. I, I see I what you're doing there. That. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson eating popcorn. And he's playing the with his website cat. website is cat. broken. 
The so chat broken. is about the cat. Dude, the, that's, chat is the, about the, cat. the internet yeah. loves cats. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, this is dude. Cooper. Oh, no, they the do. You're watching. Oh, man. Also, I um, being home like for the whole day has made me realize a real problem. Speaking of the cat, is that about 11 a.m. this morning, like we started to film something somewhere around there, 10, 30, 11. And Booker came in and fell asleep on the chair next to me. And he's still on that chair. <laughs> yeah, he literally has not moved. I I wanted to close the door but not lock him in before we did off topic. I wheeled the chair out into the hall and closed the door. He's still in it. I'm looking at him right now. That's probably why he's still so because <laughs> he hasn't moved for five hours. <laughs> I checked to see if he was alive during GTA. I was like, "You okay? Yeah. All right." Like, Cooper's pretty good, but he will like if he decides he needs attention, he will just walk across my keyboard. Which yeah, Cooper does that too. Deal, but it's like, oh, now we're recording <laughs> audio, and like, there's stuff I need him not to step on and accidentally kill or erase. So, I was, um, you know, I don't know. I, maybe it was before we did the thing last night, or maybe after we streamed yesterday. We just kind of had like a, like after we went offline, we just had kind of like an end of the day conversation with a bunch of people in the chat. And at that point, it was finally like, all right, like Iris was in here. She was trying to like get at me all day. So she came over and she like realized <clears throat> I was talking to people and I had headphones on. So I gave her the headphones. I'm like, oh, yeah, you, people are here. Say hi. And she just went in the microphone. She went, hi. And then everybody that was in the Discord channel was like, oh, hi, Iris. Hi. And she just like sat there and stared ahead at nothing because she couldn't see people. And she just went, hi. Oh, <laughs> It was great. Hi. And I just went, you can stop saying hi. You don't have to keep saying hi. <laughs> she just like didn't know what else to say. She was just like. She counted hi. down with our sync today, didn't she? She did. At yeah. One point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did like an audio sync and she's like, she's like, oh, fucking five to one. I got that. I know that. <laughs> Nailed totally like nothing. Like nothing, dude. That's one hand, man. All right. He is now just straight up laying on the keyboard. Yeah, dude. I have, I don't happen. I have children beating on my door like it's oh, like damn. they are the zombies trying to get in right now. In general or right now? Oh, right now. Yeah. My kids right are now. Yeah. Them. Are they your now children? I, I hope. I haven't opened the door. Uh, Jack, what I should book her once. You Wait, you like uh, Coop's laying on your, on your keyboard right now? Mm. Booker once sat on my mouse while I was playing Skyrim and I shot someone in the head. <laughs> I didn't mean to do. Like, I literally killed someone and voided a whole mission and then to redo it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed at the end of the day yesterday after work, I typed plus and then plus plus in Discord. Uh, yeah, I did, I, yeah I did do that. I did not type that, just so you know. That was Iris smashing my keyboard. She, just <laughs> no, no, no. Like, she was like, I typing. But it's let, fun. Let me ask you guys Daddy something. does it all day. Yeah. 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 You, you uh, frequent Reddit, right? You guys go on Reddit every now and again? I'll bounce around. I'm sure. Reddit's familiar. When I'm like browsing Reddit, there's, there's always this panel at some point that says top broadcast right now yes and it's always and what is that it's always that someone is, like petting a dog reddit, or that's like reddit public broadcasting they have a thing where you can stream to a reddit channel and they just put weird stuff on and so i don't know the full extent behind it but i, I think it's just random stuff being streamed weird so, i don't know bring it right now, but i don't even see it top broadcasting uh let's see I, literally oh. when i just type in like go to reddit it's like the third thing down i just have no idea. like it was been, i saw someone playing snake badly um oh. i saw like so I don't know, cooper is laying on control so i mouthfeel forward and zoomed everything in um yeah i don't know where it is exactly but it pops up every now and then yeah it's like every so often it's just there you know just hanging around like there's a bunch of people watching this right now and i just look at it and i go why <laughs> well it's like how many people are watching it and how many people just have it up in a window on a second monitor you know i guess that's a, good point. Know. that's a full monitor experience though right i guess so you can't sideline so. that you just gotta watch it man i really going back to like just watching stuff with the whole like working from home thing i have like a slew of and i talked to jeremy about this of like movies and tv and shit to watch and I went, man, I'm going to fucking catch up while I'm at home. I haven't done anything. 
This is I've yeah. done nothing but like set up my PC and shoot videos and then spend the time when we're not shooting, talking about shooting tomorrow and then prepping yeah. for shooting the next day. And it's just like, I hope it dials back a little bit because it's just like, how do I have less time than when I went to the office? That doesn't make sense. What no, the I hell? Feel the exact same way. I, I played Doom last night at 1230 because I was like, God damn it. I haven't played this game in four days. I'm going to play. I played one level in Doom last night just to, to force myself to do something besides set up computers and shit. And it's uh, it's yeah. good. I'll say I'll say Katie last night played Animal Crossing for I kid you not must have been six hours. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. And I was oh, so Lindy's, proud of her. So Lindy's proud of her. hitting me hard with a lot of the animal. Does, does she need a wand, Jack? Does Katie need a wand? Because Lindsay's sure. making a whole shop. I don't a know. She was probably use a wand. She was talking to Ken. Do you have about a wand? Okay. Tarantula Island. A Tarantula Island, not playing the game. It's just, I hear about it. Tarantula Island is the place to be yep. because tarantulas spawn like as much as like infinitely, and they're worth a lot of bells. Yeah. 8,000 bells. bells 8,000 bells. You got 200,000 bells in one shot, mainly because I was catching tarantulas for her. It's a matter what of what to do with right? all those bells. We pay gotta pay back loan, loan, dude. You gotta pay back Tom Nook, dude. Bells are money. <laughs> bells are money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are we talking like he, ring, he, ring, he, ding, he, ding, ding bells? He loaned you a lot yeah, of bells. Ding, ding, ding bells. Ding, ding. Tax collectors here. Give me the cash. That seems like a really inconvenient currency. Being hard to put in a wallet. Well, listen. Well, Tom Nook, we man, you gotta watch. Tom makes Here's the rules, thing. Okay? We can take over Animal Crossing World. All we need to do is, is Jack just got gotten the nipple. Uh, all we need <laughs> no. to do is create like a, a, a cryptocurrency for bells. We'll, we'll call Ryan, them crypto bell. Why do you yeah. want to overthrow everything? Why is everything <laughs> that's presented you need to overthrow it? And Look, Ryan you know, is like, out of power. He <laughs> sees how to get back in the power. Just, I, it's a lot of times. It's, it might not even be poorly run. He's like, mm, someone's in charge of something. Not if I have something to say about it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to shut the that world down. Today. Look around the world today. Could do you think it could be worse if I was in charge? That's all I'm saying. Uh, yes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean you just told me you don't know. You were like, I can't teach my kids math. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what that's not what the leader needs to do. The leader isn't gonna be teaching kids math. He's gonna make sure someone will teach the kids math. And that I did. <laughs> oh no. So, so who's teaching the kids math? Radiation. Who's teaching the math? The internet. <laughs> that's great because nothing <laughs> nothing bad happens on the internet we are we're, internet we're, is we're, only fact on, we on the internet and we're great quality math it. by online learning resources they're gonna know like, all the maths the best maths like the, oh they'll learn from the internet oh ryan where do you work i work on the internet <laughs> it's like i work on I don't a know different math. part of the internet my part of the internet's <laughs> it's not it's supposed totally to cross different. with their part of the internet different part uh, you stay on your side of the internet i'll be on my side that's what we got Boundary. age gates for. Like the ones that Michael has behind him. Yeah, Correct. I was going to say that, and I just didn't. <laughs> the, thing, the thing about that, I was smart with kid number two. So when Iris started escaping from yeah. baby jail, <laughs> what, what happened? What did he do? No, I mean, he, he, he took broadcast yeah, power. Yeah, I figured he did it. I took, um, yeah, I took broadcast power, taking it back. He just, he just got a little bit of power. Um, what I learned with Iris is like, oh, she got out of the baby gate. You know, whatever will get rid of the baby gate. But what I didn't immediately realize is that translates to the crib as well. Of like, mm. I'll just climb the fuck out of this. You can't stop me. And I was like, oh shit. Like, what do we do there? Because she was still, she was too little to like run around her room in the middle of the night, you know? And it's kind of a far drop to like climb out of the crib if she like biffs it, you know? If she like perfect climbs, like climb over and leg dangle and then drop. And if she goes over head first, you know, it's like a couple feet. So, what I found um, was they sell these, basically they're like tents. It's like a big tent and you put the mattress in the tent and then drop that in the crib. So then it's like a bug net basically. So like you zip them in so they can't climb out. But the mistake I made was I didn't get it until after Iris had learned to climb out of the crib. So then she's like, I'm free. What the fuck is this? And it was like this new thing that boxed her in. So she hated it. She absolutely freaked out. And she would like tear at it. And like, you could theoretically still eat shit because again, it's just like a mesh. So you could climb over the, the actual crib and then fall out, but be like trapped in the mesh. You know, it's not, it's not physical. It's not like solid enough to stop you from climbing out. Like a it's dolphin like a in net. a net. 
<laughs> yeah, basically. And fortunately, that never happened. But I kind of envisioned finding her dangling outside of her yeah. crib, but caught in the net. <laughs> that's um, another thing, man. That's comfortable. With, with with Luna, the second I I had the smell of she's climbing, I put the fucking tent in her crib, so she'll never know that she can uh-huh. climb out. Like I remove that from her. It's like the baby elephant thing. I don't even know about that. Like when you, you you put a post in the ground with a baby elephant and chain them to a post and then they grow up and they can't get out of it. But then when they grow up, elephants don't know that they can just rip the post out because they couldn't get out when they were a baby. So they just don't try. Like apparently that's a thing. That's, that's a what I got one. with her. And here I thought they were supposed to be one of the smarter animals. No. They just remember. No, no they're dumb. No, <laughs> they're just, like, elephants they're like, never forget yeah, anything. Like, well, no, that's the thing. They remember everything. So they remember, I couldn't pull that thing up. I can't pull that thing up. And so they don't Apparently, try to pull the thing up. When they, they never forget clean. also means they never learn. Well, listen, they never the try. Thing. Yeah. I'm, wait, I must be an elephant. <laughs> There's a shirt. Elephants never try. Elephants never, elephants never get. Speaking of shirt, Michael, you got a new shirt in the store, right? Uh-oh. Not yet. Next week. Next week, um, okay. March thirty first, Face Jam shirt comes out. Uh, allegedly, so now the, the the show comes out every other Tuesday. Fortnite podcast, a very popular game, very popular podcast, comes out. Uh, March thirty first is the next episode. It drops at I think two a.m. It's two or three a.m. I think it drops at two a.m. Allegedly, the shirt is dropping with the episode at two a.m. So you can Ooh. run to the Rooster Teeth store. If here's here has how I've equated it. We've already filmed that episode, so we kind of talk about it. If you look at your phone and say, hey, there's a new Face Jam out, that means a new shirt's out. So go to the Rooster Teeth store and grab that Face Jam shirt. Uh, I don't know how many we made. So uh, hopefully, very popular show, the shirt sells out quickly. So if you want one, you know, maybe set an alarm. I don't know. You know, I'm not saying it's going to be necessary. Don't wake up at 9 a.m. and go, hey, there's no shirts left. I didn't know because now you know. If you don't know, now you know. That's central. Yeah. So that's, you do the math. I can't, I can't do anything for you. I'm like, Ryan, that's math. There's a lot of time zones out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could do the math. That's actually, I just don't want to teach you to do math. That's more convenient for is. people like not in America, you know, England or like Australia. That's like five o'clock in the afternoon or something. Sure. You're like seven many hours England. ahead. Uh, I could go get the shirt, but it's in my hamper because I wore it. So it's dirty. And then I, That's okay. I would hold it up and it'd be all wrinkled and dirty. Hopefully yours isn't wrinkled. Why is Ryan stabbing? Ryan is. I brought a knife. A knife. What? I don't, did you bring I'm a knife from work, or did you, you have didn't, it at you home? Didn't bring it anything. Knife. You didn't go anywhere. I don't know that you can it, bring something at your own house. It's everybody was taking stuff home, and oh, so I did, took home a knife. Home. Yeah. Weird. Mm-hmm. We brought stuff home to work. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Michael, Michael took a well, switcher you have, and a computer. You have knives at your house, Jack. By the way, this mixer. Is mixer this mixer is great. I love it. Yeah, it's nice, right? It's nice and solid connections. Nothing's getting loose. No, no. Maybe a little bit no. of hum, but that's okay. Again, the thing is, I know how my setup works for the first time in nine years, and it's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's pretty exhilarating. I so can't now wait when to you get go back, back to work. work. Yeah. Well, I no, won't know how no, anything don't works. Your head. I have, no, no, I have to go back in. to my shit. I have to go back to my shit setup. This is not my shit setup at work. No. It's the same well, thing. I, I don't have this <laughs> mixer. I don't have this mixer. I don't have, have my nice gaming PC. My gaming PC is nice. My work PC is doo-doo. Stop. Jack again. Yeah, yeah, that's me <laughs> and some woman yelling at Ryan the cat, or vice versa. I don't cat. know. Or that's that's Ryan going, "You're set up," and that's me going, "You Yow. learn." No, I did no, learn. I'm, I'm looking the wrong direction to do it. I got to look that way. No, that's your point. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the pointing. No, oh, only Jack's on that side. Way. If he was oh, now it's the other way. There you way. are. Here the whole thing. Now you're pointing at yourself. Now you point at Michael. Now Michael be the cat. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Exactly like makes the a, meme. Makes a Nailed lot it. of sense on an audio No one podcast. was holding me back, yeah. though. I would have been all over you. So No, see, you're going to put that back in. You're going to understand every bolt. Bolt? Here's, yeah. what, here's what I learned. Here's what I need to do. If I want my setup mm-hmm. to work perfectly, when I get back to work, pop open my gaming PC, throw a couple of Big Mac coins inside of it. Some coins in there, dude. <laughs> It'll fix everything. I got two coins at home. That works. Purrs like a kitten. How many Bring coins did you end up using? I, what's up? How many coins did you end up using during? So I started you with your I, Mac coins. So I started with three. Oh, like used for Big Mac? Zero. I yeah. didn't use a single one. 
I was a collector's edition. I'm like, I'm not going to, what am I going to go spend coins? Also, are you kidding me? You know what would happen if I went to a fucking McDonald's and gave them a coin? They'd be like, what the that's fuck true. is this? We don't know what this yeah, is. They don't know what Give you that a Big is. Mac. That's no, that's too exclusive. They don't know what the fuck that is. That's like, it says it on the coin, I bet. That's what I could I could write on a piece of paper, give me a free Big Mac and hand it to them. But that doesn't mean they're oh, gonna do it. But I bet when they don't know like what Ronald the hell McDonald's it is. Signature on there. You, you go to McDonald's and you point at the menu and say, Can I have that thing you're selling? And they say, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you think they're gonna know what the Big Mac coin is? Fuck no. No, I never do that. That's why they're I, so dude, heavy. You bounce them no. off their head until they do it. <laughs> yeah, that's I should have tried that. <laughs> So what happened was my computer started rattling because one of my one of my fans, one of my cooling fans started like shaking, going like tick, 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 whenever I played like a new game because it used a lot of used a lot of juice. And I so I like a responsible, restrained person. I thought, let me open the, my PC up and tighten it. And I tightened the screws on the fan and the sound went away. And I thought, man, what a good job I did. That's really cool. And then three minutes later, it started making the noise again. And then I went. Okay, well, I tried that, and then I realized if you pushed down on the center of the fan, it stopped the rattling. So naturally, my thought was, let me put shit on top of it. What's the perfect size? A Big Mac coin. I have almost 100 of them. So I started loading it up with Big Mac coins. Okay, three, I started with three. Three was too many because then there was too many coins. They started rattling against each other, and they started wandering. So, And then also, the coins next to each other made a whole new different sound, like sound that went clink, 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 clink. So I had to put a Big Mac coin. Then I put a little, I ripped a little piece of paper towel, put that on top of the Big Mac coin, mm. then put the other Big Mac coin on top of it, realized two is the sweet spot, right? I was like, oh, Object. two Big Mac coins, two Big Mac coins with a piece of paper in the middle. That's just like a Big Mac with an extra piece of bread in the middle. Wow. This is symbolic. This works so well. Everything ran great. And then later that night, I heard a clink, clank, oops. One of the Big Mac <laughs> coins fell into my computer and now exists somewhere in my computer. Uh-oh. Turns out one Big Mac coin is enough. So now there's one Big Mac coin in place on top of my fan, and then there's another one somewhere inside my computer. I tell this to <laughs> Alfredo saying, listen to the good job I did. I fixed my computer, and that's not good enough for him. So I don't know what he wants from me. I probably well, saw Get some aluminum foil and make it into a, like a wire and start shoving it into the computer while it's on and well, see if maybe you can like dislodge the other coin. What, I tried, before that, yeah. what yeah. I tried before that is I threw a bunch of magnets in to try and pull out the coin and that didn't work either. And all the magnets fell apart. So they're all on my computer now too. Okay. Yeah. You gotta get like those buckyball things, like those magnet balls. That they yeah. All stick well, they mostly fall on the hard drive. So I think it's fine. Oh, okay. You're good. You're good then. It's solid state. So I know it's solid. Yeah. Exactly. It can take a pounding. Actually, oh, solid state drive trail are fine with here. magnets. See, that's I know what I'm talking about. No, you're good. Thanks, that's Ryan. Just, thanks, thanks for backing me up, dog. The science yeah. supports that one. You're all right. Someone in the chat my... asked, "Is there still a paper towel on your computer?" Maybe. I don't remember. Mm. I've got my. It, my, it uh, may have gone down with the other one. In case of emergency, break seal up here in the room. So I'm going to bury this in the backyard because it's worth a lot of money right now. I mean, the, 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 the packaging is gold because that's what it's worth. Yeah, exactly. It's more of a urine color, really. Also, cats walk all over this desk all the time, and they're tracking God knows what onto it. So Yeah, they pee on their Poo -poo. own feet. You know that, Poo -poo right? Yeah. Pee. Well, pretty much. I mean, just so do children. Standing in it. <laughs> Did you say so do children? Yeah. At least, at least my animals don't base. shit inside the garage. <laughs> yeah, but then they walk into your house with it. Yeah, I have to deal with it only only once a week when I when I empty it to throw it to the that, garbage. They shit in your garage and then they bat the turds around in special rice. We're having a are you guys having a poop fight for real? You're having an animal versus children poop fight. My poop's better than your poop. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> now your poop's worse. This is what we devolved to. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I got a cat dude, and a child. Dude, so, next I week mean, we're going to be talking about our poop. Okay. That's Watch true. out. It's going to be a long three weeks. We have three podcasts. Again, as Jeremy said, assuming it doesn't get extended past April 13th. Because it will. We have, we have three of these suckers to do. Um, they're working. So today we did four people uh, because we didn't want to beat this whole system to death. It's. I'll be honest. This is working great. Uh, Shockingly well. This is really well. They've done a bang up job. I keep checking back. It looks great. Probably less problems than when we do the podcast in in broadcast. Um, but four was the max as of now. So they're looking to try and get 
uh, up to six people next week. Not that I'm saying we'll have six, but if we can do it, we'll try to do five uh, next week. And then maybe who, if you guys are on or whoever's on can do like a magic green screen thing and play and piss them off some more. Uh, I'm all for it. I won't. It'd be great if everyone's in green screen except for me. I would just wear a green shirt and then I can. Oh, you know what we're missing though? What the the real key difference here, the real thing that has dropped out of existence with this setup, we don't have the Eric soundboard. I mean, I would you say that? I bet they do. Right. I bet they do. Right now, there would be the echo of, yeah, baby. I've got a soundboard. (laughs) I could throw Eric on there. Broadcast, do we have the Eric soundboard? Is that. is that not a thing? Well, no one's at work, right? So, big dog. Well, no, I, right. Oh wow, was it the voice of Tyler? Yeah, it was not Eric. I think that I think that was Tyler. Did wow, he try uh, and talk. That was not. Where? Was yeah, it? What, what? Do it again. Quiet. Do it again. Big dog got to eat. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely uh, Tyler. That was that's that's definitely, was Tyler. Definitely okay. Tyler it. just saying it. Uh, <laughs> <That was laughs> okay, almost the same thing. Man. So close. <laughs> Did you oh, think man. that was like everything second, else? Jeremy? You know, it's like everything else about this off-topic. It's almost normal, but just <sighs> not quite. Yeah, a little bit. Oh off. my god, that was funny. That was really that was pretty funny. Funny. He went for it. He went for it. I'll give it to Ryan. Good. <laughs> yeah. what, what is that so tower bad. thing underneath that poster? That like looks like a like a. I don't know. Oh, fuck. That that black... is, uh, that's one of the Vive controllers. Oh, okay. It looks Charges, very odd. It. There's the Vive controller. There's a headset, and then there's just some magazines and stuff. I don't know. Ryan, you have our you have our very first Extra Life poster behind. Sure you. do. Just mine's in my hallway downstairs and mine's signed by everyone oh <gasps> shit by i'm gonna us. i'm gonna sell it one day well yeah yeah uh <laughs> and also you know who else fucking ray oh try getting that one buddy you got it before try he died that one now yeah it's weird yeah. because that was probably worth the most the second it was signed and is depreciated ever since. <laughs> oh absolutely no but see the thing is while you see here's the thing you're right generally right it's general value has certainly plummeted however <laughs> value is determined by what someone is willing to pay for that some one okay. is what i'm talking about there's one person out there it's more valuable than ever to and i just need to find mm-hmm. that guy or girl and then get them to pay for it then my kids go to college that's the there line you between you and a millionaire is that one guy oh Don't yeah find what, what, there has though. to be someone out there who's a millionaire that also loves Achievement Hunter in 2012. That's for them. <laughs> that was eight years ago. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Jeremy was in the community. Fiona wasn't alive. That's true. <laughs> she wasn't born yet. It's true. <laughs> I got that car from Ikea. Uh, Chad is saying, oh, yeah, I think man. I did. That is an Ikea cart of some kind. I don't I'll know. go rip My it off the wall. I that. swear to God. Listen, Ikea furniture gets the job done. I got a little table right yeah. there. It's Ikea. It does, I got a stand right that, there. That should be their slogan. Gets the job done. I got I two everything in here. Right right gotta love some Ikea, man. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the it's curtains quick. are too. And this this lamp, which broke immediately, that's definitely Ikea. That's like Ikea. Middle, Sounds like Ikea. Like Not stuck together very well. It just falls over. That's, I used to have a bed back there. This is actually my guest room, but I figured if I was going to be in here as an office for the foreseeable future, I wanted to have more room and not have it look like a bedroom. Uh, Just that's for fair. a while. That makes sense. You didn't yeah. want, so you didn't want Matt's stream, is what you're saying. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> want to live like Matt. A bed behind you. I don't want to live like. It Matt. wasn't a bed. It was a. It was a love seat covered in garbage. Was it really? I I tried to look away. I'll be honest. You should. <laughs> It kind of looked like he was live from a closet. Not that my space is much better. I blame it on my children. Like, is he going to clean it between now and then, or is it pretty much going to be exactly the same? Jack, it was the, oh, man, I really should have cleaned this. And then two weeks from now, he'll go, I should really clean this before the shelter in place is over. And then he'll go, "Hmm, it's already over. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the end of the day. Well, you keep in mind, too, that was the stream we did at the end of the day. He was not in Warzone or in Chicky Doo. So the stream had been going on for about four hours at that point. 
during which he was not doing anything. He was busy. No, he was busy. Could have cleaned. Not getting sick. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a couple of people. Something? I've seen a couple of people point out that when I lean down and stuff like that, I'm not really in a gaming chair. It's just like a kitchen table chair. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, mine, mine's the only, just a, a, an office chair. Yeah, like I have an office chair that I normally sit in, not like a gaming chair or anything. It's just like a cushy office chair that's nice. Um, I have the kitchen chair because sometimes Kat and I do streams together, and that's too the office chair is too big for us gotcha. to like both sit next to each yep. other. And then I've just Booker just sleeps in it all the time, so I've just <laughs> never moved it back and taken it back. Literally, chair, I pushed dude. my cushy chair out of the room. It's over there with him dude. in it. I got this. This is a this is a Walmart chair. This is a Walmart special. It's like hundred bucks. Nice. It's pretty nice. It's comfy. I've had it as long as my computer set up, dude. This this shit slapped together real quick. This space can be called the Alfredo section because it came to life when Alfredo did. He wasn't born until he came to Achievement Owner, and he said, "I'm gonna build you a PC." And he built the PC, and then I said, "I guess I need some shit." That's the only reason I have this desk. This room was empty for years when I moved in here. It was nothing. Jack, this is where I had the hockey table. I bought this house, air hockey. I bought this house, and there's just an air <laughs> hockey table sitting up here. And I was yeah. like, okay. The are other the people who bought it from... What's that? Are those TV monitors next to you, or are those just computer yes. monitors? You're, you're no, right so I've got it. So I've got my... You can't really see it, but this is... Here is my uh, gaming monitor, and then next to it, I have my secondary screen. And then... This that I'm looking at is an extra screen I took from the office, but behind it is a 55 inch television, and then that is a 60 inch television. So I have <laughs> I have TV monitor monitor TV, Jeez. and the setup. And well, the setup is because if someone comes over, I can have two people play like co op games at the same time. Okay. So one person can do this TV, and I also have two Xbox. Well, I have like 800 Xboxes, but on this setup, I have an Xbox for this TV and then an Xbox for that TV. So like Borderlands or Halo or whatever. There's no, I used to use back when I lived in an apartment, I just had a little game station and I'm like, here's your little games. Now daddy got big. Here's a whole TV for you. You're welcome. If you turn a, all of those things on at one time, does microwave food just cook itself or? <laughs> no, I mean, I get, I get a tan, but so now with the, so then I thought when I bring my shit home, I went better bring home an extra monitor. So now I have three monitors and two TVs. And I bought that too because my computer, uh, when Freddy Do built it with my graphics card, I have two HDMI outputs and two dis display ports. So my monitors are both display and then my TVs are both HDMIs. And I, I plugged them all in. I got it working. I went, whoa, I have four displays. Awesome. And then I never used them all again. In yeah. Because why would you do that? It's just you realize sound. that your neck would break if you tried to live well, that, that And way. also it's, it's, it's a seizure of frame rate issues going from mm -hmm. like, TVs, 60, uh, uh, monitor, gaming monitor, 165, secondary monitor, 144, other TV, 60. And it, the, the mouse is just like, ah, it doesn't do well. It does not do well. That is, that's almost like a, a progression there where it, I felt like if you started on one monitor and just dragged it all the, all yeah. the way across, you'd go from a circle to like a square. Yeah, just it's it, an adventure. Like, it comes uh, out of a star. That's weird. But man, if you ever want to see the difference of uh, of what a refresh rate is, this is the experiment. Just take it on one monitor <laughs> yeah. and wiggle yeah, the window around. Like that, you see the difference, man. It, it was I went, oh my god! It was like finding religion. I I could never go back after that. Like finding religion. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I went, I went. Refresh rate is a lie, and then I did that, and I went, oh my god! And Alfredo just went, mm hmm, and he blessed me. And then we go back to our. And, and then I threw in topic. the Big Mac wins. Anyway, are we still doing the podcast? What a life! <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, what What's is going this? on? We've been here it's for been a whole day, three five minutes. We We're just looking at stuff and talking about it. Like, oh, look at that! Yeah. That's cool. Where'd that where'd yeah. you get that? Neat. <laughs> what <laughs> What else do you want from us? <laughs> you want me to start <laughs> pulling stuff do? out of my closet? What I'll do it. Yeah, like I got things oh, over. I there. was about to run downstairs and rip my poster off the wall and bring it upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> look, let me describe to you every single thing on this poster. This is Ray. He signed it. <laughs> Are we have more animals. Do we? Is it animal time to start showing things off? Um, if I, I open my door, you're thinking about your cat since you showed up. Well, there's there's a, some mass on Jeremy right now. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> you know? 
Go down. That's a lot of cat. Oh, you got you reclaimed a lot of your chair. Okay. Yeah, I took the chair back. Because uh, it, it is shockingly more com- like well, not shockingly, but it's a lot more comfortable than a wooden than seat. Thing. I can't imagine. Well, it's not wood, but it might as well be. No. <laughs> Not. <laughs> well, it came with a cat, and you can't get it back. Thank you. So you. That's his chair that you're on. It is, as far as he's concerned. Literally, Look, you've just slept since Star 11. Crap. This is not my oh, problem. Oh, hang on. Uh-oh. Jeremy's a Twitch streamer now. He's yelling at his cat. That's true. <laughs> Throw him. You are going to be mad for two weeks, and then you're going to get a million subs. I'm just going to keep reaching oh, to the left and pulling whoa, things out like it's a copy of Jeremy. Whoa, whoa, is that a, a classic Jeremy Dooley novel? Wow. <laughs> the heist the card game? Oh, the heist <laughs> game. Still in packaging. Still in packaging. Dang. Let's see. What, here's a 64-bit Windows like 7 Professional. Wow, with the drawn marker was, on it. It's clearly a CDR, probably. <laughs> Ripped version of it. Ryan's just looking here's at a box. box. I'm just pulling hey, it. No, I out. got like a. You want, you want to play this game? Check this drone. out. They're in this array because my children love playing with them. But look at this shit. Look at my amiibos. You want to see my amiibos? Okay, that's, Ooh, that's cool as hell. Amiibos. That's fucking awesome. Good God. There's a Star Fox poster. And then there's a Banjo Kazooie over there. But yeah, the, I used to have them all up there and in some kind of order. But then began Iris going, I want that one. And I went, okay. And then that was the end of that. So now they're strewn about the house. But I do own every single one. And they used to all be on the wall. So what's the most random thing you can reach right now? Uh, ooh. Reach, not too. much. I mean, in this no, room. I, reach. I mean, I have, I have King DDD right here. Um, That's not pretty that random. random. I think, mm-hmm. okay, I'm going to have to stretch a little bit. There's a fire alarm. <laughs> that's a, oh, that's a wait steel a minute. detector, not a fire alarm, Ryan. I know what I can get. How about hot sauce? All right. Oh, God. Uh, I have a, I can grab a Wii U, some paper towels. A bunch Ooh, of liquor over here. here. For dummies. <laughs> look at this. I have an original Xbox 360, like, uh, DVD controller. Oh, that's pretty random. That's rare. That's worth something, maybe. So, two of the I liquors I just grabbed from over there. Uh, fluffed marshmallow vodka. Oh, get fluffed. And chocolate whipped liqueur. I think it's also Ugh. vodka. Yeah, they both sound awful. I this have one's Sailor Jerry, which is good. An old wooden walnut cracker. I can't hear anything. Jack has a doom helmet. <laughs> At least turn the lights on. Other oh, lights? That's cool. Yeah. A lot of people ask me, because I'll post them on Instagram and talk about them here and there. A lot of people ask me, like, what do I do with my dust or how do I dust my amiibos? Easy. I don't. That's All right. It. Fair so- enough. Yeah, right. I put them there, and then that's cool, Ryan. I move too. on with my life. Oh, it looks squishy. It's a yeah. This was made for me by uh, community member uh, Sky, and it's got dice instead. What of are you infinity. holding, Ryan? For audio listeners, uh, I'm holding an Infinity Gauntlet with dice in place there of all of, the, uh, all of the all of the the gems. Jack, I got this. To that I say, that? oh, it's a candy candle. Yeah. A candle that your wife made. Is she it still smells really house? good. She's not. She just swung by while Cat was taking pee to the vet. <laughs> um, so That's yeah, perfect. my my uh, my dog's not feeling well, and it's like a urine based thing. So literally, a lot of like testing for it just requires us to walk behind the dog and hope that she goes to the bathroom, then slide a tray under her really quick, and like syringe up the pee. So while we were recording today, there was a couple of times Kat like ran up to the door, like holding a syringe full of pee and was like, yes, I got it. <laughs> yeah, welcome so, to my uh, life. Yeah. So then she walked, she like went to the vet to drop it off earlier today. And since I was recording and no one was there to just kind of be around in case the dog needed us, uh, Katie came by and was like hanging out for a bit. I was like, hell yeah. Because Katie Aunt is Katie. awesome. Oh. She Guess what? I just snapped, awful. and you guys are all still here. So, lucky us. 
Oh, yeah. sorry. Bye, Courtney. <laughs> Did the audio just break your voice? <laughs> oh, <laughs> his face! <laughs> then he, then he heard my head. <laughs> you guys, God, you guys so mentioned good. like, well, you were like, Katie's awesome. And then Ryan said, I snapped and you're all still here. And I went, oh, bye, Katie. And then no one said anything. <laughs> <laughs> then I made that face. Dude, it's so good. It was so, so perfect. Funny. Very good. Like, uh, well, yeah, I guess we should start wrapping up. We're almost two hours. Yeah. We got to do the post show here. This was pretty yeah. successful, mostly due to us and our commitment, and very little from broadcast. So, I mean, like, thanks for showing up, but I'm not sure what they even did. Oh, hang on, hang on. I appear to have some sort of technical difficulty. I'm, <laughs> oh, oh, the snap worked. My camera, my camera went out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's for broadcast. Good job. Good job, everybody. This is, uh, this is our first at home off topic. I don't know what you expected, but this is what you got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should we should mention again that we are streaming at RTTV. So roosterteeth.com. You can go there. It's free to watch right now. You just have to be a site yep. member. You don't have to pay for it, but you just sign up at roosterteeth.com. We're streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday from about one till five central. So about four hours. That's achievement hunter. And then on Tuesday, Thursday, a lot of There's other people. Schedule. Stuff. there you go if you're watching if you're watching the video portion uh but yeah we were streaming like pretty much every day now um i know uh elise is working on something for this saturday and i'm working on something with jeff for saturday as well so we'll be streaming on saturday evening um yeah so we just have a lot of really really cool content if you want to see stuff happening first i mean that's where we go um because like a lot of the content we're streaming right now will end up living on roosterteeth.com as separate let's plays and things so uh we're still kind of messing around with multi-camming and all that because we're still new to all of this but that is in the process is in the works we're gonna try to get something working for you um but it's lots of fun and we really appreciate the support and hopefully you guys are enjoying the content hopefully you're getting you know enjoying watching us talking to you and talking to each other and, and playing games and it's uh taking your mind off kind of this 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 shit show that is planet earth right now so uh yeah that's all the best yeah. to you stay, stay at home yeah. wash your hands thanks to everybody who who came and hang out with us uh all, all people of all walks but uh especially rt first members you know appreciate it thanks for supporting us letting us do shit like this given given us the capability to stream from home or have a have a platform to stream from because that's based a lot of uh, around you guys and uh thanks for watching the show today and if uh, you want to hang out for a bit inside gaming is doing some uh gaming stream right after us at five o'clock uh central it's 4 22 right now so 40 minutes from now right here at the same place that you're watching this right now uh inside gaming will be doing some gameplay stuff so check them out hang out in the chat for a bit and we will see you tomorrow streaming more next week on off topic we'll be back probably new adventures maybe a new green screen jack jack maybe have baby yoda there again who's to say we don't know i'll get new but ones i'll get new ones uh jeremy's shaking his head does you you don't want new ones what's up oh baby yoda jack is oh, okay. out of control <laughs> all right well, oh, i guess I we should the end it there thanks I'll for watching guys. Out, there. And by, out there i mean in there if you are in where you're at we'll see you next week take care Thank <laughs> you.